Hello, welcome in everyone. This version of the song makes me giggle because it's like, it's so intense. <laughs> But hi everyone, how we doing? Happy Wednesday, it's good to see all of you. Let me say my hellos, oh my goodness. Benjamin, hi, thank you for grabbing first and second, my goodness. Kimchi, hello, welcome in, thank you for grabbing your seat. Spidey, welcome in, Zentacle, hi. Sydney, Don, commonly. Melly, Ooglog, hello. Panda, Panda, thank you for the eight months. I cannot believe it has been that long, that's crazy. Thank you so much, Panda. Also, Ryan, hello. So Young, Leech, Nehru, Aaron, Mechakima, hi. Emmy, welcome in. Angie, hello. Q, 
QB, hello. Thank you for the seven stream watch streak. Oh my gosh. Also, Flip, hello. Manu, welcome in. Musical, hi. Zuji, hi. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was... That was a jump scare. Persona 5 jump scare. My god. I'm just gonna turn that down a little bit. Um, QB, thank you for grabbing your seat. Uh, Karu, hello. Thank you for the 10 stream watch streak. Kyla, hello. Magic, welcome in. Kyla, did I say you finished Elden Ring? Congratulations on finishing Elden Ring. That's amazing. Um, Top and Buzz, hello. Mudkeeper, hi. Dana, hi. Imagine the hard cut to this song after the trauma of the OG3 experience. God, it's just... It, it's a classic. It's a classic Persona moment. Um, also, Burzu, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Welcome in. Kiana, hi. Um, let's see. You did finish. Oh my god. Congratulations. That's so cool. Man, how's everyone doing though? Let me see if I missed any messages. Just in time for depression? No, so true. I'm like, I'm so scared about what's gonna happen today. Just cause like... I don't, I don't want to say any spoilers, but I don't... I have no idea what to expect. Um, Ghoulish, it's hello, good morning. Nady matey, hi. Angie, thank you for lurking. Good luck with your doggies. Oh my gosh. Also, Mango, hello. CBK, welcome in. Burzo, you finished Persona 3. You? I feel like you speed ran that. Oh my god. Congratulations, though. Atten, hello, welcome in. It goes, no worries. Good luck with your meeting. Um... A crisis core manda man are you gonna play that before you play rebirth i hope so crisis core is crisis core is just a fever dream but it's really fun and the story the story is great um explain the top right pookie pookie what's wrong what's wrong with him <laughs> he's just dancing <laughs> oh my god is the seven brain rot taking root it might be it might be, guys. I'm like, I'm very, very excited to play Rebirth once we're done with um, Persona 3 Reload. Cause I've been watching, I'm watching Manda play some uh, Seven Remake, and then I saw Rufus, Rufus Shinra, and I was like, I forgot how good looking this man is. <laughs> so I'm just, I've been looking at fan art of Rufus, and I'm like, sir, I cannot wait to see you in Rebirth. Um, Zach Fairboy's Gungaga, man, guys, I can't wait to play. Also, Alexander, hello, welcome in. Leech, hello. Do you realize how far behind your chat was till everyone's declaring jump scare 20 seconds before the song started? Oh my god, Leech, did you refresh? I might have to refresh. Also, Freezy, hello. I'm feeling very cozy today. I am. Freezy, how are you? Simming the entire playthrough with Emmy, we love it. Emmy, how are you liking Rebirth? How is everyone enjoying Rebirth? I... I'm just... Looking from afar. You know that, like, Spongebob meme? With Squidward in the house? And then Spongebob and Patrick are outside, like, running around? <laughs> That's how I feel! But I've... I've really, really been enjoying, um... Persona 3, and I genuinely cannot stop thinking about it. And so it's fine! It's fine! Rebirth is so good, so excited to watch you play. I cannot wait, oh my god. Rebirth is one of the games you've ever played. <laughs> Only Sable watching Emmy play looks so good. God, I cannot wait. Also, Marion, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Hi, Finia. Um, Nishiko, hello. I'm so sorry if I um, missed anyone else that came in. Feel free to say hi again if I missed ya. Hookie, thank you for grabbing your seat. <clears throat> in a time where RPGs are as good as ever, Rebirth's one of your top experiences ever. I think that's what Trev said too. Trev said that he, um, he's like, this is like one of the best, best games I've played. I'm like, what the hell? What, what do I even expect? I don't even know. Um, do you play Crisis Core off stream? Could never find the videos for it. I actually put it on stream. So I think that was sometime, it was like when it just came out, sometime December, 2022. I think, um, I think I actually have it on my VOD channel, but the videos are privated. Let me go check quick. 
I should probably post those because it's been like a year. <laughs> Two years, even. <clears throat> Let me see. Living vicariously through all Rebirth players. Oh, I have no way to play it. Hopefully it gets to PC soon. So I think Remake is on PlayStation and PC, right? I don't know if it's on Xbox. Hi Boots, good morning. Also Sibley, hello, welcome in. Thanks for having your seat. Closey, hello. How are you guys doing? Um, Crisis Core. <gasps> Sorry, I'm checking my VOD channel right now. Well, that's strange. I'm Iso. I don't see it on here. Maybe it's on my Twitch channel? Okay, let me check my Twitch. Hi Miso, do you wanna say hi? You like this song? Crisis Core! I do have it! Okay, I do have Crisis Core on um, my Twitch channel. Here, let me copy the link. I should probably put this on YouTube. Okay. There it is. There's the first part. <laughs> I have- oh my god, there are Zach gifts on my starting soon screen. Zach, oh, I love you. <laughs> um, is there something stuck to his butt? Oh my god, of course there is. <laughs> also, hi Birdie and Nicholas, hello. Law World, welcome in. Uh, is it Methels, hello, welcome in. Good morning. That game's so special to you, Ryan? Yeah, it was- it was a time. I feel like I- I zoomed through Crisis Core. I think it took us like three streams or only three streams of Crisis Core. Um, hi Chris, also Serena. hello, welcome in. Merle, hello. Crisis Core VODs and then Replicant, I know Freezy, I still need to upload um, my Automata VODs as well. See, it's like... It should be easy for me to just like go into Twitch and then go to my video producer and then click export. Change the title, export it, and then it'll be ready to go. But for some reason, I just <laughs> I haven't been able to do that. <laughs> um, it is quick story wise, it really is. And I know there are lots of like um, side quests in Crisis Core, but I feel like I didn't really do a lot of those at all. Ethan, hello, good morning. How you doing? Keep hearing Armored Core when you say Crisis Core. Is Armored Core another game? So let me play Crisis Core, but I heard spoilery for the main seven story. I think I'm waiting to finish the remake trilogy first. Yeah, okay, QB, so you haven't played... You haven't played OG7, correct? Yeah, I would. Oh, God, I don't know. Never play OG. It is it is pretty spoilery for like a big plot point in OG Seven. And so yeah, if you wanna if you wanna go into the remakes and everything without spoilers, then I wouldn't play it. Um, there's like really big spoilers at the end. <laughs> so, Amiro, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. How's it going? You didn't like Crisis Core, Nicholas? Don't hate ya. You know what? What did you like about it? I'm I'm curious. Do you not like the gameplay? Oh my God, Miso, there is something hanging off his butt. <laughs> oh God. Um. I should probably go help him. One sec. Okay, I I need to go help Miso. We'll be right back. Give me like two minutes.
All right. I'm back. Poor Miso. <laughs> Miso. He had like... I'm sorry for the TMI. He had like a big hairball hanging from his butt. Poor little guy. <laughs> also, hi Betty. Um, a bad in. Thank you for the 20 stream watch streak. Oh my god, I appreciate it. Astra, hello, welcome in. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Okay, let me catch up with chat. You always tell people to play OG first because it's a pretty short game. Yeah, I'm like, I'm trying to remember how long it took me to finish OG. I think it might have been like 35 to 40 hours. But I feel like it's definitely worth it. The thing about OG though is I feel like you have to have a guide or like someone to tell you where to go because there's so many missable things in that game. And like, the game doesn't tell you at all. Um. <clears throat> Hi, Bo Watson. Welcome in. Raz, thank you so much for the nine months. I appreciate it. How you doing? Panda gifting us up to me, so. Me, so. Enjoy. <laughs> also, Raz, thank you for the 45 stream watch streak. Oh my gosh. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Panda. Um. Donnie, I haven't played Crisis Core, but surely will soon. Yeah, just gotta get the backlog down. Mm -hmm. Lots of games in the backlog, unfortunately. No, you're a lesbian when you have a crush on Tifa when she's just a blocky polygon girly. That's so funny. Oh, you just shot up your yeah your backlog. Mina, I feel like I feel like for OG there are ways to make it easier too, so you can go through it quicker as well. Um, like. I think there's unlimited limits you can toggle on. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a while since I opened that game. Um, also, Yuka, thank you for grabbing your seat. Appreciate it. Didn't find the story boring. The gameplay was way too PSP for you. You could tell it was made that way. I got you, Nicholas. I think that's understandable. Um, it can be a lot to get used to the gameplay of Crisis Core for sure. Where did the Graha dancing gift come from? Goose, hello. I actually don't know. I had people sending it in Discord, and I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna copy it and put it on my stream. I think it was from, um, like, Tenor, tenor Gifts. Hi, Shaki, welcome in. Astral, hello, welcome in. How are you guys doing? Don't know if I need to do OG7 before Rebirth. I don't know. Um... I guess it just depends. See, the thing is, I was happy that I played 7 Remake before playing OG7 because I would never have played OG7 if I didn't play Remake. Because after I played Remake, I was like, oh my god. I kinda- I love this. I love these characters. I need to know more about them. And then so I played OG7. Um, and I'm really excited that I'm going into Rebirth knowing the story of Seven, like the whole story of Seven and like Crisis Core and everything. Um, just because I know that there's gonna be changes too. There's gonna be like tiny changes to the story. And I'm like, I'm just excited that I, I know the lore of Seven and everything. But also, I think it's fine if you just play through Rebirth not knowing anything about the story too. It's up to you. It's all personal. Are you okay, Miso? You're so cute. Also, hi Chelsea. Uh, Mori draws stuff. Thank you for doing hi new. How you doing? Epic Club, hello. Han, welcome in. Thank you for the follows, everyone, by the way. Ori, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. I love this. I love this song. Do you see the Blu-ray shots of Sukuna and uh, Maharaga on Twitter? I did. I think someone posted it in Discord? In the Discord server this morning? It looked really good. I would love to see them side by side, like the TV version and then the Blu-ray version. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> um... Alana commissioned Dancing Graha. <laughs> she did if I would pay money for it. No, Freezy, because you're right. I would. 
Um, Crisis correspond my favorite and least favorite extremely minor characters in the seven parts. <laughs> oh my god. V3 left you such a strong brain rot considering New Game Plus or a new game I had up playing something like P5. I think you should do New Game Plus. That's exciting. You can replay it all and re-experience all the feelings. Um, hi wet like wash, sky is hello, Jeb welcome in. Miso, you're so cute! Hi! Oh. Chris, you played the first hour of OG7 like three times. We'll never get past the first save point, Chris. Just just zoom past it. Zoom through it. You can make it so easy. Um I have a feeling based on the purpose of remake that the seven story will not be a little change, but massively changed. That's interesting. See, for me, I'm in the boat that of course I've only played remake so far. I haven't played rebirth or anything. I'm in the boat that the story is going to stay the same, but they're just going to add on to it. That's what I think is going to happen. Measle, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Excuse me. God of who? Jeb, don't even bring that up. <laughs> God of who? Also, I missed my potential welcome in. Um Portable, yes, I would love to play Portable. Um I'm not gonna be playing it on stream though, Astral. But I would like to play the I would like to play Persona 3 Portable to play the Fem C route. To see like what's different, what's the same and everything. Um also just to experience Portable because I know that uh, it's more of a like visual novel and not as involved, I guess you could say, as Persona 3 FES and Reload. You wanna sing so? <laughs> Hi Clay, welcome in. How are you? Portable is an experience. I'm kind of scared. Also excited. Hi Lamb, welcome in. Tell me when I was searching up part one Let's Plays of Rebirth, first things that show up are huge spoilers. So I'm so sorry. Yeah, I gotta be careful with all that. Recently? Okay, <laughs> first of all. First of all, I saw what the Moogles look like in Reapers. First, what's wrong with them? Why would they do that? Those are monsters. Second, <laughs> I have been seeing so many posts of people putting um, Sephiroth into different games and I love it. It's so funny. They got Sephiroth in Animal Crossing, they got Sephiroth in Stardew. It's great. Every Moogle has a man trapped inside them. No, literally, that's what it looks like, Emmy. Okay, you don't want to see some terrifying art? Literally the worst art. Okay, it's actually it's great. It's great art, but it's terrifying. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. This is gonna be terrifying. It's gonna be a jump scare. Uh, oh. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Mom scare. Me so. Excuse me. Okay, everyone prepare. Here it comes. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Literally, it's so scary. I think I think someone tried to make the Moogle into like the it clown or the it character is horrible i'm so sorry astral i'm sorry for terrifying all of you but yeah um let me just give credit to this person there's there's the artist shout out to them i do not like it 
<laughs> also ideal hello ventus welcome in thank you for grabbing your seat man i know i'm gonna have nightmares i am so sorry y'all <laughs> See, why can't every Moogle look like the Moogles from 16 or like Final Fantasy 14? Because those ones are really cute. I feel bad that I'm like calling all these Moogles ugly, but the Moogles in 16 are adorable. And in, um, in 14, they're so good too. Me and my college graduation, mom, I grew up. The Moogle definitely chain smokes. Oh my god. Ventus, we are. We are talking about the rebirth Moogles. Because they're terrifying. They make you for the whole history. Why would they do this? I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. It's so strange. Late stage capitalism got to the Moogles in rebirth. No. We gotta get them out of there. <laughs> Um, me when I plant a copy of the DVD of Up, Mom, I grew up. <laughs> oh my god, Amanda, that took me so long to understand that. I should have, I, <laughs> I should have gotten there right away, but god, Amanda, that was a good one. Wow, also hi Trouble, welcome in. Oh lord, hi Mudkipper. Still find them cute, just ignore the teeth. Oh my god, I didn't even notice they had teeth. I mean, I noticed in that, um, in the art I just showed you guys. Holy shit. I hate that. I know, yeah, they need a mod to make the Moogles cute. I'm sure someone will make that, honestly, whenever it comes to PC. Um. Maybe they want to make it believable that Moogles could exist in the same universe as Sephiroth? You're, you mean you mean the Moogles can't be cute in the same universe as Sephiroth? <laughs> um, is that official art? No, no. The art that I just showed you is not official art. Were the remake Moogles not terrifying? I actually don't remember. I don't know if we saw remake Moogles. We saw Moggy, but that was that was literally a kid dressed up in a Moogle costume. Oh. They did look like this. That's so upsetting. Okay, it's fine. Wait, okay, wait, look at this picture. <laughs> Look at this picture! Oh no! Um... <laughs> what did they do? What did they do to him? Okay, this is from Crisis Core. What happened? Why is it- why did they turn into a man in a- in a bear costume? <laughs> why is he standing like that? No, literally looks like a small man. Oh my god, it's fine. It's fine. I'm- It's not gonna ruin the experience, okay? It's fine. <laughs> Oh lord, thank you for the follows everyone, welcome in. Moogly makes me think of great googly moogly. Oh, mm -hmm. for the 90s kids out there. The economy happened, I guess so. He, he grew up, like we said, he grew up, he has bills to pay, he has rent to pay, and a landlord that doesn't fix um, the mishaps in his apartment. That's what's wrong with him. Looks like a mascot for a knockoff soda. <laughs> Or a little guy. An extra on the Muppets? I could totally see that, Jev. Um, is that a real Moogle in Reunion? I... Apparently, I cannot confirm that though, because I don't remember. I don't remember seeing Moogles in Reunion. Um... 
It's like when local Pancake House says the Power Rangers are coming from Badger 7 on a Thursday evening. That's what you're getting. Oh my god. Tweet says they look like a puntable persona mascot. No, because I saw that too, Manda. And then I just started thinking about that Moogle having Teddy's voice. And I was like, I can't think about that. I don't want to think about that. Um, would you like to extend your car's limited warranty? <laughs> that Moogle probably. Oh my god. Can we Sonic movie ride the Moogles? Imagine if that happened. That would be so petty. <laughs> they evolved to grow feet and had to do enhance do manual labor because capitalism and deforestation. Nicholas, you're so right about that. It's all because of Shinra. Okay. We blame this on Shinra. This is what Rufus has done. Anyway. <laughs> Guys, should we play some Persona 3 today? We've been chatting for a bit. I would like to get into the game. Um, Guys, we're almost to December. I'm freaking out. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Um, Let's keep looking at these nightmare pictures. <laughs> Imagine that was, that was a whole stream. God, Persona 3 is kind of a nightmare, in my opinion. Um... Anyway, uh, if y'all need to lurk to avoid spoilers, please do- Oh, it looks like an ad starting, actually. So, since an ad is playing, guys, I'm gonna go to the bathroom quick. So none of you miss anything. Um, let me actually open the game so you all can watch this intro. Freezy, thank you. Thank you for the good luck. I think we're- Oh, I think we're doing, um, the full moon today. Which terrifies me. Cause I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, let me just skip through all this. There we go. Have fun. I will be right back while the ad's going. Y'all can enjoy. Okay, hello. I'm back. I'm ready? Am I ready? I don't know. 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry I left the music on. I'm so sorry. That probably sounded horrible. I apologize. I apologize for the remix of the songs that we're playing at the same time. Okay. Oh my god, that's loud in my ears. Alright, so we are on November 30th, y'all. For Rump Scare! Hi! <laughs> for Rump Scare! Um, can I show you guys this new emote that I made? Chris, get out of here! Chris, we're like a month ahead of you. <laughs> get out of here! Okay, look at this emote! Explode the Ryochi! I finally did it! On Monday, I was like, I want to make an emote with Ryoji getting exploded. And then... I did it. So now we have Pet the, Pet the Seas members and Explode the Ryoji. Um... So young, thank you for the 12 months! I appreciate it! Chris, thank you for lurking. Yes, avoid spoilers. Angie's still semi-lurking, but I see Ryoji and I explode him! Okay, <clears throat> so as you can tell, we are on November 30th. We have two days until the full moon. Um, I am not sure what to expect because we got rid of all the shadows. So um, perhaps we fight Strega. Okay, that's gonna be my my theory. Obviously, don't tell me anything, but let's see what we can do today. Um, Yukari here. <laughs> Maybe we can actually start uh, Mitsuru's social link. <clears throat> yes, guys, guys, let's start Mitsuru's social link. Because we're finally, we're finally at six academics. What are you guys talking about? I think she's on the first floor. I hate my stupid parents. They said anyone who doesn't graduate from a four-year college has no future. That's discrimination against the, un the undereducated. <laughs> it sure is. You agree, right? I'm not gonna back down on them this time. Oh, stylish student. Mitsuru Monday so real. I see her. I'm running. Hey! Can we stay here? Oh. I don't care about that. Hello. Ah, baby girl. I've been hearing a lot about you lately. Sounds like you're studying hard. I'm impressed, but try not to stress yourself out. Um, say. By the way, baby girl, this is completely unrelated, but I'd like to talk to you about something. If you don't mind, can you spare some time? Sure. I see. Excellent. Well, um, could you come with me? I'd rather not talk about it here. Oh! So, um... We're getting- we're getting some ramen together! I need to know the etiquette of this place. Are there any customs I should follow? Oh, this is probably so new to her. She- she's just too rich. Too rich to have ever eaten here. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. Um, don't let it get soggy. Oh, understood. So it's important to eat quickly then. Sounds sensible. I imagine said eagerness shows respect to the chef as well. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit. Hmm. What a fascinating flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Well, I'm glad she likes Excuse ramen. Me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? <laughs> what? <laughs> Chef de Cuisine? You talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chefs. That's nice. What do you use for the bouillon? 
Leon. What the hell is that? You're asking about the <laughs> recipe? Sorry, miss. Can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. Mm -hmm. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table. I suppose that Girl. Means it comes in sandwich form as well. Girl, no. It's true. You have I so see. much to learn. What a fascinating delicacy. <laughs> she, she's too rich, you guys. <laughs> the recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is her Do first time. That unusual? Trying ramen. Well, you know, if she hasn't had ramen at all, I don't think that's unusual to want to try it for a oh, long time. That's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. Oh, I never noticed how short she was. Like compared to Makoto, turn here in the future. I saw an unexpected side of Mitsuru. Cute! Oh my gosh. Ten out of ten just for the French. No, she speaks French so much. Also, like this. Hello, Aluna. Welcome in. I think she's the Empress. Empress Arcana. Yes, Empress Arcana. Finally, we're in. The, we're almost to December, and we finally unlocked oh, I didn't the social the time. link. We should be going. Yay! Her aura makes her look taller. No, I completely agree with that. <gasps> what? Why are you here? Why are you here? Ah! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> You're late. Ryoji kun was just leaving. Oh. <laughs> hey there. Hey there. Chilly out, huh? Hope you don't go catching a cold. Oh my god, are you worried? Are you worried about Makoto? <laughs> no, I stop by here pretty often. Weird we never see each other. Well, why don't you come say hi to me? Well, I'm out of here. See you later. Later, Yoji. Bye. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Is that Yoji son? Uh oh. I guess it's like I need to explode him. <laughs> yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? She looks so sad. Busy Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. Oh. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Uh oh. Yeah, but Krija Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Ryoji kun? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. I I don't think that's the reason why I guess thinks that he's dangerous though, Yukari. But having him around has really helped cheer you up to Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. Junpei. That's true. Hmm? What's up, Ai Chung? What does she know? I'm fine. It's just. I envy <gasps> you, Junpei. She feels envy. I'm a machine, so <gasps> I don't understand what it feels like to live. I guess. Really? But you don't seem that different. Mm -hmm. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. I think you're changing though, I guess. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. 
same with humans, just in well, a different if way. Like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess he'll finally close <laughs> over. Huh? Oops, I didn't mean to cut her off. Oopie. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Oh, Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... I guess. I'm not gonna tell her to stop overanalyzing. No, don't worry about me. Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why. But I never want to leave your side. I, I want to protect you at all costs. To be there for you always. Ah, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. I love her. Yoji Mochizuki. Oh my god. He is dangerous. There's more. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. Oh my gosh. Guys, she's she's feeling feelings. Okay, she's feeling fear? I don't know. Perhaps love for Makoto? I did have a theory. Um, which no one confirm or deny this. I said that Zoe met her on the school trip though. Like she, she, it's basically like she was made to protect Makoto in a way. Like that's what I'm getting, that's what I'm gathering from her. Like it's programmed into her, it seems like. Um. And I had a theory that maybe Makoto's parents, like, were involved in creating Igis, and they programmed that into into her to protect their child. And that's why she feels like that. Because it was like immediately, immediately when she met him, she was like, "You, you're the one I've been looking for." By the way. Does Ayusa not get along with Ryoji song very well? He's a strange guy, but I think he's plenty polite and interesting. Okay, wait, what can we do? We can only hang out with Mitsuru. Let's do that, but also Hi! Why are you whining? Um Don't worry, Karmar son. I won't do anything reckless. Ryoji-san is dangerous. I'm certain of it. Things are fine for now, but one day that will change. <laughs> Please do not worry, though. I'll be there to protect you. I guess. I have fear in my heart. <laughs> my Kono has two hands. <laughs> okay, let's save. And let's hang out with Mitsuru. Sure. Thank yeah. you. She's so ominous. No, she really is. She's like, it feels nice he's dangerous. I can't say why. Someone else like this. Aww. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you then? Are you having a good time? <laughs> I'm. I'm a bit tense. I don't know. Starting off the convo. Are you having a good time? I. I'm a bit tense. It's true. Sorry about that. <laughs> Try to relax if you can. Then again, if it were that easy, it wouldn't be a problem, would it? Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Hmm? We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to. My staff? Actually. Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. Thank you. I drink herbal tea with Mitsuru as we discussed our favorite snacks. 
All right, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. Ooh, looks nighty. I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. Cute. I love her outfit. Yeah, the Koro and Aiga's friendship. <sighs> the Koro and Aiga's friendship is very cute. Oh. All right. This is ominous music. <clears throat> Hello, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. Who are you calling? Now then, about the new arrival from the other day. I'd like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. What? If we find any distinctive features, we may be able to locate her family. Also... Chidori? Chidori's family? I can't help but think that the Kirijo group is connected to Strega in some way. Mm -hmm. Considering this, I think it would be disrespectful to sweep her death under the rug. And of course, I'll take full responsibility. Mm. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Transmogrified? The body? <sighs> but judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... All right. I'm sorry, but please keep this strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Right then. What is going on? No, what is going on? I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens for now. Oh my god, her bot- her dead- dead body transmogrified? Turn into a coffin. I got a message from Ryoji. <laughs> There's too much. There's too much happening, you guys. <laughs> There's too much. This is exactly like last stream where we started out and things were so intense. This is too much. Heart of Gold, hello. Thank you for the six months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bodies do go into coffins when they die, but like transmogrified? Okay. He looked like he wasn't at school today. Maybe something urgent came up? No subject. I want to see you. Please come to the music room. Sorry for the short notice, but I need to see you right now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Ryoji's acting weird. I should head to the music room later. That man is not okay. Again? I'm like 99% sure he is death. He's going to bring the fall, like they said. And he's figuring this out. I don't- I don't know if he knew it at the beginning when we first met him, but... Ryoji's on didn't come to school today. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I'm nervous. Hmm. Ryoji is absent today, man. Class seems so quiet without him. I never realized till now, but he had the sort of presence that live in the room. Interesting. So many things happened during the school trip. People got all crazy and did things they normally wouldn't do. For example, peeking at girls in the hot springs. That wasn't you, was it? <laughs> say that to my face again! What did you just say? Uh, hey, lighten up! I was just joking! Oh my god... Okay, so we have to go to the, the music room. <sighs> Guys, I feel like I'm gonna barf. I guess we'll go to the music room. Yeah, okay, Makoto, calm down. <laughs> um. hmm. 
The music room is quiet. Okay, wait, let me save. New save file. Okay. What are you looking at? Hey. Hi. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Can this wait until tomorrow? Makoto. <laughs> Don't be like that. What happened? Well. How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time. And I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. Thanks? <laughs> it hasn't been that long since we met. But I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I don't know if that's good or bad. I just really wanted to thank you for that. Oh god, he's gonna play. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. Ryoji. Wow, why do I feel sad? Why do I feel sad? Just like this. Are we about to kiss right now? Can I join you? <laughs> That's an interesting suggestion. I'm sure it'd be wonderful if we could play together. But... Maybe we'll save that for another time. Why not now? When I saw those couples in Kyoto, or when I visited you guys at the dorm, I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone. It's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going. Both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. Can he stop? I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... <laughs> I actually want to be something stop. more. Stop! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Guys, Atlas. Atlas knows what they're doing. I'm gonna scream. What about you? Makoto, why not just say yes? <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I'm- I don't know what to say! Fuck! I'm just gonna say, um, I- I don't understand. I don't understand. No, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for him. I don't really get it myself, but I- no! Fuka! Fuck! <laughs> oh, it's you. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. Well, you did. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? No. Ryoji- oh god, is he not- Do you not see him? <gasps> Bitch, what the fuck? God. Oh, I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but- I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? He was huh? just here. 
Fuku and I left the music room and returned to the dorm. The melody Ryoji played on the piano remained fresh in my mind. Ryoji, when I catch you, when I catch you, Ryoji, I'm gonna scream and cry. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Oh my god. Also, hi, Rogue. Welcome in you. Hi, hello, Afrid. Hi. Hi, Giselle. No, that was so good. I like... <laughs> I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him. Hi, Trev. So how do you feel about Ryoji? I feel bad! I like... I don't know. At the beginning... I don't know what my feelings are. <laughs> At the beginning, I did not trust him. And like, I know I still probably shouldn't trust him because this this dude, I guess it's like, he's dangerous. Again, I think he's gonna bring, try to bring the fall on us. Um, but I, I feel so bad for him because like, I think he wants human connection. And he seems to really like Makoto. I don't know what the reason... I don't know, like, why, though? Like, why does he feel such a connection to Makoto? That's my question. Um... But it seems like he's... I don't know, maybe this is completely wrong. Maybe I'm just, like, trying to make up a, a good scenario for Ryoji, but it seems like he's just trapped in this fate for himself, you know? And I don't... I don't think... I don't know if he's the one who created that for himself or is some other higher being, but it just feels like he's trapped. Ugh, I feel sick. Tomorrow's a full moon! Not like that means anything anymore. Man, there's something to do. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll go hang out with Ryoji. I didn't see him at school today, but he was probably just ditching, so he should be around. Crap, I don't know where he lives. I don't even know that either. Does he even have... have a home? Or does he just disappear? Does he just disappear like we just saw him disappear? Oh, great. After we had that scene with Ryoji, we get this this text about a matchmaking site. Brother... We just got asked out. <laughs> also, Manda. <laughs> thank you for adding that command. Try, thank you for adding that. Also, Haley, hi, welcome in. Storm, thank you for the 7 stream watch streak. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Yeah, they shared the data. They were listening. They were listening. God, there's so many people to talk to, and I'm in shambles. So, Makoto-san, I swear that I will protect you. Come with me. So, um, please do your best in your exams. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's something akin to the idea that, as a machine, she is replaceable. She may have been programmed that way, but it is still painful to hear. No, seriously. Haley, how far did you get? Did you play more? By the way, there's gonna be a full moon soon, isn't there? I know there's not much else we can do, but I can't help but feel a bit restless. I guess I'll just have to deal with it. Look at these two! You got to 1210, okay. Perhaps. Okay. Yoji asked Mitsuru out? I'm surprised he's still alive. I used to think he was all talk. I guess he's got guts of his own. Hey. This feels kind of weird, huh? There's a full moon tomorrow, but nothing's happening. It's almost too quiet. Well, I guess that just goes to show we're back to our ordinary, everyday lives. But for some reason, I feel a little restless. Part of me wonders if we're gonna see... Ryoji during the full moon. Oh, I'm 
gonna barf. I say that during every Persona 3 stream, but I, I genuinely feel... <laughs> I feel sick! Okay, let's go to the club. We're gonna go talk to that informant guy and get that URL. It's Groovy being sig single. <laughs> Man who can't get Groovy, how's it going? You know what? I'm I'm feeling not Groovy today. I see. I can't catch a Groovy either. Guess it'll be a lonely Christmas for us two dudes, just like every year. Oh no. Go have a look for yourself. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Haley, thank you so much for pinning that. I appreciate it. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I guess we can go to the dorm. Let's hang out with Fuka or Ikari. Fuka? Um, um, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Uh -huh. I'll see you. Hi, thank you for the mod <gasps> love. I appreciate so it. So this is what it's like growing plants. Oh, should we be measuring the pH of the soil or monitoring how much sunlight they're getting? I'm really into this. Oh, um, <laughs> yes. I looked up a bunch of stuff online. I thought it might be helpful. Cute. Great I vegetables. Like flowers and stuff, but I've never really worked with them outside of arrangements. I've always wanted to try putting in the work to grow some, though. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to go on about myself like that. Shall we keep working for a bit more? I'll go get some water. Fuka, I'm still upset. I'm upset that you interrupted. <laughs> Are you OG? But it's okay. You know. Good. You're so cute. Do you think you could invite me when you Of the course. I'll do more research so I'm in a better position to help out next time too. Of course, girly. No, we have not romance anyone. Mm -mm. I don't know who I'd romance. Okay, full moon. <gasps> Good morning. Hey. She used to hang with her on those days specifically because of her <laughs> interruption. <laughs> Just like you're the same. Couldn't talk to her the next day, poor Fuka. <laughs> I intend to do my best to protect everyone. Even if that means I. I guess. I guess. Don't even go there. No. It's nothing. Please don't worry about it. I just wanted to share my feelings with you. Feelings! See, you have feelings! <sighs> Ryoji's not here again, and ne neither is Igus. What the hell? Hey! Okay, we could hang out with Mitsuru. Odagiri, Hiraga. What's up? Dude, Igus just flew out the door. And Ryoji didn't turn up today either. Weird, huh? Girl, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Okay, I think we can go... Let's go hang out with Mitsuru. Oops. Oh wait, I should probably go get an Empress Persona. So let's do that first. Makoto Yuki, thank you for grabbing your seat. How's it going? Ori, I can check. I will check after I um, leave without the room. Marvelous. Thank I'm you. Forward. How may I assist you? This is um, your progress so far. Empress. My lady. This persona, yes. This persona, yes. Mm. 
You know what? I might as well just get this one. This persona, yes. So you'll be summoning this one? May it be your inner strength. Jesus Christ, it's always so loud. Are you finished? I know the real Makoto Yuki in chat. <laughs> we look forward to your next. For the people having lunch, enjoy. Ooh, you're having your six dollar sushi? That sounds so good, you hi. What kind? What kind of sushi are you having? Okay, let me look at my social links. With Odagiri, we are at rank six. Oh god. <gasps> oh my god. That guy who's been following me? Is he blushing? Um, am I in trouble? Where is he? Oh. <laughs> hey man, what should I do? Every time I look at her, she seems prettier. I'll just have to be happy with just looking at her. Y'all are so... interesting. Very interesting creatures. Lurking from day one, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I know, the stalker stalking plot. It's wild. The fact that this has been going since the start of the game is so funny. Hi, Mitsuru. Hi, Jello. When 11 a.m. here, but for lunch, you'll probably have cheese. Ooh, donkatsu? In the hot stone rice bowl and mini udon, that sounds so delicious. <laughs> yes. Greatly appreciated. Actually, there was another place I was hoping to stop by today. Interesting. So this is what the interior looks like. Girl, I was just working here. Makoto was getting into it as he was cleaning the tables. It's smaller than I expected. <laughs> is this your first time? Well, technically, yes. But I did pass Oh my god, it's our first though. time being at fast food burger joint. So, I understand that you don't eat with utensils here? My lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem. In all honesty, it's a good thing you're here. Is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Girl, oh, just enjoy your food! Sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. <laughs> I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Mitsuru seems to trust me. That's very nice. Hi Liz, welcome in. Cash Cozy, hello, thank you for grabbing your Z Amity. I'm new. How's it going? Yeah, always business on the brain for her. Oh, I didn't realize we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. <laughs> Shall we begin? Shall we begin? I ate burgers with Mitsuru and headed back to the dorm. M burger. Uh oh. Okay, evening? Full moon? This is so strange! This is so strange, you guys! Because usually, I feel like we just go right into a full moon... You know? A full moon mission! There will be a full moon tonight, but we won't be conducting an operation. I was thinking I might summon Juno and search around a little just in case, though. By the way, have you seen Aegis, Baby Girl Kun? No? Mm hmm. Hmm. Aegis has been coming home late recently. She didn't used to. I wonder if something happened. I hope she's okay. Oh no. Hmm. I guess didn't like Ryoji kun from the moment she met him. Do you think they just have clashing personalities or something? Mmm. No. Who cares, girl? <laughs> it's probably because he's always flirting. Uh, to be honest, I don't really like him that much either. Oh, right. There's a full moon tonight, so I'll be up keeping an eye on things with Juno, just in case. 
So let's go to Tartarus another night, okay? Um. Hmm. Let's go see if Igus is in her room. Um. Yeah, when party members are disappearing, you you'd think they would be a little more worried. I don't know. I guess not. I guess it's not in her room. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. We can only hang out with Junpei. I think we'll do let's let's just stay let's just stay in the dorm tonight, okay? She's in the club. She's in the club hanging out with the man who can't get groovy. <laughs> Surely eating to increase her academics so real. <laughs> uh dating site note. The site seems to require an offering. Luckily the note came with a free pass. Welcome to the matchmaking super shrine. Picture anyone you wish to inf Ooh, intensify your relationship with and click the button below. <gasps> oh, this is really nice. Oh my god. I don't even know though. I don't even know who I need to rank up with, so maybe I wait to do that. What? I already used the offering pass. Fuck. So I have to. Shit. I'm pretty sure we can actually rank up with Odagiri. I think we can rank up with... Ikari. Thinking about Kenji while on a dating site. <laughs> also, Churro, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. How you doing? Yeah, we did just start with Mitsuru. Mm. Okay, let's sing a Mitsuru. I'll think about Mitsuru and click the button. Praying. Current progress, 3%. Continue focusing while you wait. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Prayer complete. Your relationship has intensified. Mitsuru feels more important to me. Oh, that's cute. Okay, that's nice. Uh oh. oh, oh okay, full moon. Hi, Cupe. Welcome in. No. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. You just ended up here? Ryoji. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird. And there's no one around. You don't know what the hell's going on. Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason... I feel at peace. You feel at peace? Have you forgotten? <gasps> uh oh. What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You. You've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. <sighs> I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are my enemy. I need more explanation, though. Your why enemy, enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was a long time ago. Yes, we've met once before. You and I were enemies. Am I? <sighs> Who are you? I am Igis, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. 
I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you, your true name is Death. He is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. I guess, I guess sealed him away ten years ago? Shadow? Oh, he does not know what the hell's going on. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> You're just a little guy. Yes, ten years ago. What the fuck? The night when I was born, I stood on this very bridge. My sole purpose was to destroy shadows. That is the reason why I was given both a sense of self and a persona. I. I am the bearer of the 13th Arcana. Everyone knew me as death. No. But when I came into being, a part of my power was broken off and scattered. I wasn't at my full strength back then. I was incomplete. Even so, your power was still far too great. Holy shit. Whoa. <gasps> Okay, it's all making sense. I get it. No. I understand now. I remember everything. I know exactly who and what I am. Vladius! Don't be foolish, I guess. You can't win. Ryoji, I'm gonna punch you. I'm so upset. I will destroy you. That is my only reason for existing. Uh, Ryoji. It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. <gasps> oh, shit. Yes. I'm so sorry. <gasps> I'm scared. No. Juno, uh, did, did something happen? I guess. I guess feeling fear. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Ryoji. Was the shadow that was created was death, and that looked like Thanatos. Okay, so that makes oh my god, and then he was locked away in Makoto. That's so sad. Makoto <laughs> literally was carrying him around for 10 years, and now that makes sense. The beginning scene when Makoto awakened to his persona, you see, you see Thanatos like. Coming out of Orpheus. That's crazy. I wish Ryoji did not remember, you guys. I wish he did not remember. I wish he could be a normal human. No. 
But then how do you get this body of his? Okay, let me just let me just keep going. Or I guess too. What's the matter? Well, I realize it's a full moon tonight. You did too, huh? Oh God, I'm turning into a workaholic. Wait, is something actually going on? Yes. We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. What? Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Igus right after that. Oh. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I've pinpointed her location. The Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. Oh, no. Coro! Coro! I guess... I'm sorry. I... I... Remember everything. I remember who I am. Who he is. Leader. I know why I wanted to mm. be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. <laughs> I guess I want to hug you. It's going to be okay. Right? I'm sorry. You have no reason to apologize. Oh no. You oh no. Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... Did she just shut down? Fuck. I guess is no longer moving. She appears to have stopped functioning. What is going on? It's... all my fault. What? You did this? Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us. Who or what are you? Turns out... I'm not so oh my different gosh. from the creatures you call shadows. He's actually being honest. You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the appraiser. Born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows and about me. I can't. It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Maternal being? As for the appraiser, it draws the maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the appraiser? That's you? That's right. This maternal being? What is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igus took me down, and I returned the favor. I guess? Is this for real, Ryoji? This is for real. She knew she couldn't destroy me completely. So out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. What are the chances? What are the chances of that? That child grew up carrying me inside. It's so crazy. And by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. 
He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean- Who's baby girl? That's right. Kodo. I've lived inside him for a long time. It's crazy. In inside me? But how- So that's why. That's why he's like, it feels like I've known you for a really long time. I feel sick. And when his persona awakened, the twelve shadows did as well. So he was the trigger. All in order to become one with me. Yoji, you're the appraiser? And you were inside of him? How the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? That's all my fault. Oh my god. I'm sorry. But there's more I need to tell you. Ryoji kun! What the fuck? Okay. Ryoji? Oh. Seems he fell unconscious. He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. I guess needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that. What I've just heard was shocking. Ryoji lived inside me for 10 years, waiting to make contact with the 12 shadows. Then does that mean the boy named Pharos was actually Ryoji all along? So many questions remain unanswered. However, Ryoji is unconscious. We took Ryoji and Aegis home, the air surrounding us frigid and somber. I'm overwhelmed. Please don't let us go to school. Please. He's awake now. God. <laughs> Maybe we just have to keep going to school? <laughs> hmm. This is... This is interesting, though, because... We met Pharaohs... Before we awakened to our persona. Right? Because we got to the dorm, we met Pharaohs right away. He was like, here, you have to, you have to uh, sign this contract, right? And then I think it was a few days later, um, that's when we awakened, and that's when the shadows would have been released. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right, I'll see you then. Okay. Damn you, Ryoji. <laughs> <sighs> Also, thank you, mods. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. It looks like we're all here. Y'all, I don't even know what to think. First time watching all the two. Really? You're beyond shocked? That was crazy, because, like... I was just expecting them to be some sort of childhood friends. I did not expect... I guess, to be the one sealing... Ryoji away into Makoto. Like, that's crazy. Also, thank you for the mod love, you guys. Jose, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Yeah. Big mod love. There was much to think about. Hmm. Some of the theories you and Haley were coming up with were, <laughs> were so close. Yeah. Oh god. Hmm. We have Gwink, now we need <laughs> Twink or Twink. <laughs> I like I think it's very interesting that Ryoji is being so honest with us. He's like he's telling us everything. The truth. Or like what what the truth seems to be. I am worried because I guess it's gone, and so I'm like... What if he's not telling the whole truth? But it does seem like... I don't know, he's trying to get through for us? I hope it's not, like... I hope it's not an act. That's all I'll say. Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? 
Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Okay. Ryoji kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. Of course it's called Nyx. More Greek mythology. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. Okay, this is crazy. This is crazy he's telling us all this. Maybe he actually does want to help, guys. OG. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that we'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? Mm. Everyone seems to have arrived at the same conclusion. Every single human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. The fall. But there's still a way to stop it from happening, right? <sighs> I feel like... To stop it, we would have to stop Ryoji. Because Ryoji is going to be the one that summons her. What? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. Bell? I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming. Oh, the ball, the bell. I think in November. Everyone's at a loss for words. It's inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. What? When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> That's barely any time at all. Am I right? Yeah. All we gotta do is win, and we're golden. Yeah, Nick Schmix. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? It's not that simple. I want to be strong, though. I want I want Makoto to be strong and be like, yeah, yeah, Junpei's right. We can do this. You can't. Oh, win. okay. <laughs> when you're up against Nix, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable, like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She just can't. What if she can? What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. Everyone is visibly distraught. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form. So I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him. Makoto gave you this gift? And because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nix's arrival is unavoidable now, but... You can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just oh my have God. to kill me. If the appraiser disappears, 
all recollection of the dark hour would go with me. <laughs> and that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives. And by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. Oh, I feel sick. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. Yoji-kun. If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, you'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I don't want to put you through something like that. We kill him, we lose our memories, we stop the fall. I don't like either choice. Fuck this game. I know. I don't want my memories to be erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? Ryoji. If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. Uh, why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st. Of course. New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. Great. After that, I'll dissolve into the Great. blackness of the dark hour. Oh my, my god. Form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. You're just gonna leave for a month? But what if we want to hang out with you and like cry about you dying and having to kill you? You look so in pain, Ryoji. Hey! Ryoji, wait! Stop, Jinpei-kun! I felt Ryoji-kun's presence vanish God, just now. God, that sucks. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. <laughs> Ryoji-kun. I guess... He'll be back. He'll be back. <sighs> Just like Bebe, he'll be back. <laughs> Ryoji's revelation was all too devastating. The world will soon perish. Mankind is destined for extinction. A difficult decision lies before me. Death is inevitable. The appraiser truly did deliver a death sentence to us all. I can't think clearly right now. How do you even choose the way you want to die? Good question, Makoto. I don't want to listen to this song right now. <laughs> Why does Persona do this? <sighs> That's so fucked. So fucked up. Yay! The world's gonna end. But let's dance. Yes. <laughs> let's dance. God. 
me when the embodiment of death and destruction grows to love and care about that which it was meant to destroy, yet it cannot just de deny its destructive nature. I'm so upset. God. No, like I said, he's trapped. Like, he's just trapped in his fate. And there's nothing he can do. I hate it here. I need water. Also, Burzu, thank you for adding that command. My God. <sighs> Gamer, thank you so much for the hundred bits. Yeah. Yeah, so true. Oh my gosh, just yes, Alex Lee's voice. That makes so much sense. It makes so much sense now. Oh my God, that was scary. Alex Lee having the same voice actor as Makoto. It's because he was living inside of him. Oh my god. Chill vibes. Yeah, we have a difficult decision. Difficult decision to make. I mean... Great, we have 20... 28 days! <laughs> 28 days! Make a decision. Jay, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. How are you? Man. Um, both the Japanese and English face from Makoto Ferro Samirji are the same. Oh, in both languages. That makes sense. So Pharaohs also have Alex Lee's voice. It sounded so different. I'm really sad. I'm really sad. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> oh. Uh. Um. So, we're all going to die. No matter how much we want to live, there's no escaping death. <laughs> I never truly thought about my own life ending. It feels like everything I thought I knew has been destroyed. going to die what the hell we're all just trying to live our lives the best we can and now what it's all just gonna end you've got to be kidding me i'm sorry sorry i don't feel like talking right now y'all giselle i'm not okay also the way ken ken literally just like found his reason to live again and now he just got told that he's gonna die I'm so upset. <laughs> okay. An unavoidable end? This can't be happening. I won't accept it. God. Ryochi, that crazy bastard. He's gotta be out of his mind spewing all that crap out of nowhere. This is such bullshit, man. I just don't get it. And Junpei was supposed to live for Chidori. Aki was supposed to live for Shinji. Also, where the hell's Igus? Igus, where are you? Where the fuck is Igus? Oh my god. There's a new recording. Do we watch this right now? Am I gonna get annoyed at this? Maybe. Eleven thirteen. Ken, what are you doing? It looks like a modest room. Yeah. <sighs> oh. This 
room really is too small to practice in. <sighs> but come to think of it, I guess I don't have to practice in secret anymore. Although, I don't live on the first floor <laughs> here, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. <sighs> hmm. I chose a long weapon so I could match the reach of an adult. But then I learned that long weapons are actually better suited for tall people. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I hit my shin again. Again. Jeez, I hope I get taller soon. Oh yeah, where'd my milk go? <laughs> milk? <laughs> He's trying to get taller. Just drinking out of the carton. Maybe I should be drinking more milk. Hmm. It hurts my stomach sometimes, oh no. though. Are you a little lactose intolerant? <sighs> that was cute. He's a little baby. He's just a little lad. No. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Not the milk poops. God. And then he finds out that he's going to die. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like... <laughs> I'm upset. here i don't like this game i don't want to play anymore what if i just never finish what do we even do let's go eat some burgers fuck you we can't even eat burgers <laughs> everything's going wrong god <laughs> Yeah, maybe Makoto can cry in its room. Perhaps. No, we can just... <sighs> we can just do this. Let's learn to become a ninja. I don't know. Ninja hideout. Run swiftly like a ninja. Alright. Ambush has been enhanced. The amount of time needed to dash. Okay. Y'all, if we don't see Ryoji for this whole month, I'm gonna be really upset. Like, even though he is gonna bring the fall, can't we just like still make memories for him? Even though our memories might go away. <laughs> I heard some people saying that apathy syndrome is nothing to worry about. Yeah, exactly. I heard the same thing. They're saying it puts people at ease, right? You think it's some kind of new religion? I think I get what they mean, though. What? No way. Are you seriously falling for that? It's all a scam. Oh my god. Haley, thank you for that clip. Did he even have a physical home? I don't know. Probably not. He probably just disappeared and then reappeared and was like, Oh, yes, I am a human and I have to go to school today. I have to go see Makoto. Why am I so attached to Makoto? Why do I like him so much? <sighs> There's no way I can concentrate on school now, man. Let's get going. It's just tragic. The whole thing is just tragic. I have to go to work! <laughs> yeah. The car walkies. Head can't he spot his cell phone after the first interaction music room. Yeah, just to text Makoto, I could totally see that. It's a Greek tragedy, Aster, you're so right. <laughs> Um... 
Okay, let's go say hi to Elizabeth. So I think she has some new requests for us. And I think we'll hang out with Mitsuru again. Good day. Or maybe I'll hang out with Odagiri. Are you accepting a request? Oh my. Christmas? Christmas present? Oh, yes. A figure called Santa supposedly flies all over the world giving gifts to those considered nice. However, I have yet to receive mine. I believe he must have forgotten it, or worse, misplaced it. May I trouble you to pick up my present from this Santa? I will await a report of success. Sure. Very well. Alright. Oh my god, there's so many people. Just sitting on the floor. So many people with apathy syndrome now. Th no, this for real is mega doomed yaoi. Like, alright. <laughs> Thanks, Persona. Thank you for that. Um. Hey. Do you want to be Santa? I'm the Santa who makes kids' wishes come true on Christmas. You can't really tell I'm dressed like this. I'm actually looking for someone to help me with my merry duties right now. It's a special job, but we're always short on staff. What do you say? Okay. Can you show me proof that you've done something good for the world? If I rescue- oh, rescue someone from somewhere dangerous, maybe he'll acknowledge my deed? Oh! You rescued a missing person. Putting yourself on the line to help others is not something everyone can do. Santa hat, thank you. And a Christmas present. Nice. December hit different in Rilo when you see the streets filled with- Yeah, the loss is crazy. Rare that the whole world is doomed and <laughs> not just the ship. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, lord. Yeah, they're taking the rest of the world down with them. <laughs> God. Hi, Luna. Welcome in. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Just start playing Reload. How are you enjoying it? Luna, I'm loving it. We are in the depths of the story, though, so beware. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I, I love Reload, even though it makes me feel so much hurt and pain. It's so good. You mean in the ultimate doomed Yaoi Shuake? <laughs> I can't wait to read uh, Ryomina fix when I'm done with this thing. And then I can cry Good more. Day. Here are my Let's hear the result. Oh, <gasps> Elizabeth took the Santa hat. Elizabeth. I see. One must first become Santa before partaking in Christmas. Marvelous. I suppose that experience itself is the most valuable gift of all, does it not? I brought an actual is gift. True? <laughs> Consider it a Christmas present from the one and only Elizabeth Claus. <laughs> oh, you're cute. You're cute, Elizabeth. Very well then. Oh, good day. Ooh! I shall be waiting then. Oh my gosh, okay. We can escort her. I've been waiting for you. Let's go. We're going to our school. Gakukan High School. A place of learning. Yeah, a Liz hangout. It's quite a shock that such a warm, illustrious institution transforms into Tartarus every day. Girl, night. don't don't talk so loudly. They're like, let me leave. Oh dear. What a conundrum. Everyone here seems to have a predetermined form of attire. I fear I may draw too much attention. I hope this won't pose a problem. Curtis Hurdle, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and your sub badge. Well, you do. Please excuse me as I make myself less conspicuous. Oh? If I stay hidden from view this way, then there won't be a problem, correct? I don't know if that's no. how it works. The school awaits. But okay. 
A pleasant surprise. To think there would be a bastion of commerce within a house of academia. Mm -hmm. Could you please wait here for a moment? There's something I've been curious about for a while. Excuse me, I would like to purchase a school lunch. Is this where you get the school lunches? Um, sorry? Uh, they only sell bread. I would have liked a taste of this school lunch, as it is a rare delicacy only served in select facilities. She looks but so I've disappointed. Heard that having bread for lunch is also part of the school experience. That will be a fine substitute. So goofy. Now that I've checked that off the list, let us proceed. As for where I'd like to go next, shall we visit your home room? So this is a classroom. With so many students and desks, it's no wonder there's hardly any space between them. But perhaps... Ah, I see. It's designed this way to foster a sense of harmony between classmates. Sure. I sense the care put into this arrangement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh? This observation post must be what they call a podium. Hmm, interesting. When I stand here, I do feel a longing to teach well up inside of me. <gasps> First question. Oh, God. Between diet food and super diet food, which is more delicious? Um, more delicious regular diet food? I don't know. That is incorrect. Oh, um, so As a sorry. For giving the wrong answer, you shall receive your own portion of diet food. Thanks. Is this what a classroom lecture is like? The quizzical stares are beginning to make me feel unsettled. Let us carry on. Yeah, with the all tour. the all the students are like, what the hell? Who is this? This humanoid figure. I thought she was supposed to be standing be behind Makoto the whole time. Did they seal him inside the plaster to prevent him from escaping? I imagine it would be quite cramped in there. <laughs> Truth no, told, not the piano! Not the piano! piano. <laughs> I'm gonna barf. Are you familiar with the Velvet song? Velvet, oh Velvet, my master has a long nose. <laughs> my master has a long nose, now. wow, that was so good. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go. She's a star. I walked around school with this with Elizabeth. Experiencing student life for myself today has broadened my perspective of your world. I'd very much appreciate it if you could accompany me again sometime. Sure. To be honest, I don't entirely understand my own motives for coming here. Girl, I don't know either. But as I walked closely with you, I how should I express this? I felt very fulfilled. Cute. What I really wanted to learn at school was more about you. But why? In any case, why? discovering the reason Wait. for this desire <laughs> will surely serve as an intriguing diversion. Let us return now. Thank you once again for acting as my guide. I return to the velvet room with Elizabeth. My gosh, that was fun. Here are my Let's hear the result. I am slowly coming to understand why being there lifted my no. spirits. Gekkokon isn't just a part of your world; it's the place where you spend a great deal of time on a daily basis. It is a place saturated with your presence. That's why I. Well, I will set that aside for time. now. There's more that I need to consider. Please take this as your reward. Thanks. Interesting. Very well then. All right. What a fun Friday after finding out that the world's gonna end. And now we can go hang out with Odagiri. Okay, wait. 
I think he's the Emperor Persona or Emperor Arcana. So let's go grab one of those. If the world's ending, yeah, I'm not going to work. Oh my god. Yeah, everyone just in love with Makoto, I guess so. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Um please take a look. This you can't carry any more than that. Fuck. Now then. Can we fuse? It is a special persona you desire, is it not? Well then. Shall we take a look? Emperor. I don't want to get rid of Loki, though. Are you satisfied with this? No, I don't want to do that either. Okay, I'm just going to get rid Are of one of my finished? personas. And then... We look we'll come back in here. Eros, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Only Lizzie could lift my spirit. Yeah, after such a revelation, right? Yeah, gotta make most of the time we have left, for sure. Okay, let me get rid of you. Okay. <laughs> hi, Luke. Welcome yeah, pain of removing personas is so sad. Cammy, hi, thank you for grabbing your seat. How's it going? Please take a look. This so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. All right. Very well. We look. All right. Let's go hang out with Odagiri. I miss Ryoji. You know you can release Persona. Oh, you always fuse random ones. You can release them. Alright, so I think this is rank 6 to 7. Uh oh. Regarding the incident from the other day with the cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. Girl, I don't care about this right now. I'm so sorry, Odagiri. Cammy, yes, we have. We haven't hang out with Elizabeth. Also, neighbor, thank you so much for lurking. Good luck with studying. Glad <laughs> you watch the Doom Giawi revelation. <laughs> uh, also, hi, guy from Switzerland. You did miss the full moon. Yeah. Wasn't that months ago, Pookie? Yes, it's been a while. It seems the teachers want the student expelled as soon as we find out who it is. What? Well, hmm. I guess we should have expected that. It does hurt that. the school's reputation. I'll keep everyone posted on this. Do they say now. expelled? Oh my god. Expulsion, huh? So, what do you think about all of this? About the smoker's punishment, I mean. That's really intense. It seems too harsh. Yes, I think so too. Wow! Once I catch the culprit, I'll give him a good talking to. The goal here should be to prevent this from happening again. I'm not counting mm -hmm. on it, but it'd be great if I could get people like him to change their ways. I don't sympathize with students who break the rules, but does kicking the bad kids out really make the school a better place? Oh my god, I'm, I'm surprised. It's really not like me to whine about it. I guess I'm just confused because I feel so powerless. If I can go above and beyond this time and earn the teacher's trust, my ward will hold more weight around here. Just you watch. I'll work my way to the top. Okay. Odagiri really opened up to me. I feel like we're becoming better friends. Huh. I like that. I still have some work left to do. I need to compile a list of suspects. You can head on out of here. And take care. Okay. Yeah, he's cooking with this one. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all are seeing the growth. <laughs> oh, hey. So, like, what if everything yesterday was just all some crazy dream, you know? Uh, sorry. Probably not, though, huh? I wish. 
I wish. I'm upset. Hey, so I think everyone is going to need some time to process everything. It was all so sudden. But we should still go through everything we know. Do you want to go over it together? Okay, I guess we can go through all this. Can we avoid the fall? That's... He said it's impossible. Nyx is death itself, so we can't avoid it. Or defeat it. Sorry. What if we let Ryoji live? If we let Ryoji-kun live, we'll have to face Nyx. And apparently, Nyx is undefeatable. It's so unfair. Sorry. What if we kill Ryoji? Uh. The coming of the fall may be delayed by a little, but our memories related to the dark hour will disappear. It may be the easiest way, but I don't think I want that. Sorry. So what yeah. do you- Well, we'll have to make a decision. But I don't want to run away. So we don't kill Ryoji, he brings the fall, and then we have to fight Nyx, who is apparently undefeatable. Or we kill Ryoji, and the fall is delayed, and we lose all our memories. Um, hey. Great options. <laughs> With everything going down, I don't think we'll be able to go to Tartarus for a while. I need to start my thoughts, too. Oh, but did you want to ask me something? We can ask about my existence! The surge in Persona users? According to Ryoji-kun, the reason there are more Persona users is because of your existence. You came here with Ryoji-kun inside you, bringing us all together. Along with the shadows that had been dispersed to different locations. Um... My existence. Um... From what Ryoji-kun said, ten years ago, you happened to be present when Aegis and Ryoji-kun were fighting. Aegis couldn't defeat Ryoji-kun, so she decided to seal him inside you. So... I think what I remember from that cutscene is... It looked like Makoto was like crawling out of a car. So it kind of looked like maybe his parents got into a car accident? I don't know. Have such a thing done to you? I know, Fuka. Hey. Well. When you moved here, Ryoji Kun began to awake from inside you. The twelve shadows started making their move. <sighs> hmm. We should organize the information we already have. Is there anything you want to go over? Oh my God, we have we have so so many questions that we can get answered. What happened to Igus? Well, about that. After the incident, Igis was taken to the laboratory. The researchers are tending to her, but with the injuries she sustained, it's going to take a while. Hmm. Okay. Why did Igis dislike Ryoji? In that case, Igis may have lost her memories of the battle she waged with Ryoji Mochizuki ten years ago, but some part of her must have still detected that he was a shadow. An incredibly strong shadow that she had faced once before. Hmm. God, that's crazy. Why does Ryoji look human? That is an excellent question. Ryoji Mochizuki is a shadow. The same shadow that I guess sealed inside you 10 years ago. Over those 10 years, that shadow changed as a result of being held within a human. Eventually, it gained the appearance and characteristics of a human being itself. And those human characteristics are what influenced it to give us a choice. He gave him feelings. <laughs> he gave him feelings and emotions. Uh, I'm fine. I'm okay. So, um, I was hoping this is all just a bad dream. I remember the other time I wished everything was a dream. Ken, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Stupid Ryoji. Saying the world is gonna end out of nowhere. What the hell does he mean by the appraiser anyways? Poor Junpei can't even accept it. I know Makoto gave him life! <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm going crazy, guys. We have to stay calm. If we panic, we won't be able to make the right choice. First, we should go over all the information we have. 
Shadow's purpose. Shadows are pieces of Nyx, and their sole reason of existence is to revive her. What's the appraiser? The appraiser is the one who summons Nyx. The appearance of the appraiser is a sign that the fall is near. And all humans will, be will become members of the lost. Really? I guess everything that's happening right now is just the beginning. Hmm. Um, According to Ryoji, it was Nyx who brought the concept of death to this planet. Nyx will turn every human being into a member of the lost. And because the lost cannot survive without someone taking care of them, everyone will die. <sighs> Makoto is mother. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Makoto seems dead inside. Yeah. <laughs> Nyx's mother and Makoto's mother. <laughs> Shinji would be 100% sure on what he wants to do right away. Oh, for sure. I could totally see that. Hi, mother. <laughs> Should we pay you, Koro? Let's pay you. Hmm. Karamara seems pleased. Oh God, that fucking line again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Koro. Corump scare. <laughs> I'm upset. Hey, did, you hear? did you hear about Ryoji kun in class 2F? <gasps> no! Don't say that! His parents got transferred again, so he won't be around anymore. What? My god, really? So that's why he was absent yesterday? Who would have thought he managed to fit in so quickly in just one month? Talk about mysterious. <sighs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm sad. Okay, let me check my social links quick. We might hang out with Chihiro. Cause she's at rank 8. Oh my god, we can get to rank 9? Why is that one text meat veggie meat veggie sumitsu is ridiculous. I do not want to talk to you, pubescent student. You make me mad. Makoto's robot GF and Death Twink BF no longer at school. His <laughs> hands are empty! Oh no! Oh. Uh, um. I... Thank you very much. You're always so kind to me. I want to get away from the school as quickly as possible. Shall we get going? Oh yeah, she's been having issues with people thinking that, um, she stole money. Attention please. Fushimi-san of class 1C. Baby girl son of class 2F. The student council president would like to speak with you. Please report to the student council room immediately. I repeat. Uh oh. The president wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money too. Mitsuru's not like that. Oh, Mitsuru? Uh oh, I see. I didn't realize you two knew each other so well. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Alright, let's go. Yeah, save us, Mitsuru, save us! Good, you're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? 
Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um, Miss President, I... You need to tell her. Come on, tell yourself. Senpai. Okay, I can do this. Yes. Yes. I just need to be brave. Be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. <laughs> Chihiro's lips are trembling. Oh. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the student council president. Give me a hand, will you? Sure. All right. I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. Wait, d d does that does that mean <laughs> you two will be meeting alone? Oopie. Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. <laughs> if too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. Mm -hmm. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no, I can't allow that. Chihiro. Fushimi. Girly, it's nothing. Well, is clear my name, right? I I can do oh. something about it on my own. Okay. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Okay, girly. Fushimi. She's taking this matter into her I own hands. I barely remember what happened that day. So hi, right guy. Welcome in, over and thank you so much for the mod love. I appreciate that. Yeah, the way she ran. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. Hmm. I also remember handing the fee money to you directly. Or are you really going to say that this is my mistake? Fee money? Give me an explanation right now, or else. I am so sorry. You're right. It's, it's completely my fault. Well, Senpai has been... Wait, what? Well... The truth is, I accidentally took the money home. Taknozuka, and you've been saying nothing? You've said nothing? I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I, I completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each oh, day. Oh, no! I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... How could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. <laughs> How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Aww. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Man. Senpai, over here! Good for her. She took it into her own hands and she got it figured out. She's clearing her name. Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. That was surprising. This whole thing is just... Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. <laughs> Oh, she's cackling! Oh my god! What? <laughs> so you are guilty? <laughs> I kind of want to say that. Will she get mad? I don't know. So you are guilty. No, I'm. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Remember when I said I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> It's just when I thought about you and Miss President being alone <laughs> in a room together, I got 
really mad at even the thought of it. Chihiro, you're so in love with Makoto. <laughs> Chihiro has a refreshed smile on her face. I feel like our relationship has grown. Oh. <laughs> she said, I want Makoto only. I've been like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid. But when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because... Oh no. I... Oh no. Uh, um... Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Oh no. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while. But I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. Oh no! I better choose my words carefully here. Senpai, I... I love I love you. No, you guys. I don't I don't want to date her. I was not planning on dating her. I like working with you, but <laughs> Oh no. That's so bad. That's so bad. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, Chihiro. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, not even you're a good friend. Right? Do we pick a romance? No. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm gonna have Makoto romance anyone. So... Okay, this is a pineapple question. I know in Portable... I think you can date Igis. Can you date Igis in this game? Because I feel like that's who I would choose. This pineapple. You can. I think she would be my first choice. Hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Those are her hooves. Those are her hooves, you bitch! <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry, Chihiro. Okay. I like working with you. This is gonna hurt so bad. Uh, oh, I see. still be friends? Yes! Yes! Of course! Yeah, friends. <laughs> Makoto! Makoto, stop! Okay, sure thing. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> He's like, I have to make sure that she knows it's just friends. Yeah, don't you forget it. <laughs> I'm just glad that we're still closer than when we first met. Aww. I still have to apologize to Okay, the she's fine. President. She's okay. I think I owe her an explanation, so excuse me. Okay, she's fine. She's okay, you guys. Hard ways to cheer then headed back to the dorm alone. Oh my god. We did it. I am proud of her growth too, Liz. She's standing up for herself. Oh god, front facing Mitsuru. Oh, baby girl. Um, do you suppose? No, never mind. There's no point in asking such things. Are you scared? What's wrong? <sighs> What's wrong? No, I don't think scared is the right word. I just can't seem to comprehend all that has happened. I thought I had become stronger after dealing with what happened to my father, but Mitsuru. Her girly. I like that she's opening up to us, though, you know? Hello. Ikutsuki and my grandfather both accepted the fault as the rightful fate of the world. They didn't believe the world was worth saving. What destroyed their hope for the future? I don't know. Hi, is it? Uh, exclude welcome in. Yeah, this game is great. Hey. Um, painful, though. 
Ryoji-kun said the unification was interrupted. That was probably from what my dad did, huh? My dad stood up to the fall back then, so now it's my turn. Hmm... Um, hey... I wanted to hear Natsuki-chan's voice, so I called her. She could tell that I was worried about something and asked me what was wrong. How... How can I tell her that the world's going to end soon? I just don't know what to do. Fuka, Fuka and Natsuki. I think. Thinking about it isn't going to change anything. So I'm going to train. That's all I can do at this point. Okay, Aki. Alright, anyone up here? I miss Aikis. What I think we're gonna do, I think I need to go to the club to get one of those URL notes for relationships. Go have a look. Yes. You know what? We'll just get five for now. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what does this say? A girl falls under the full moon. A boy walks amidst shadow, and he himself is shadow. A child who bears shadows within. The immense shadow approaches, its depth unfathomable, its extent without limit. It comes to end all things, the darkness hidden by the shining heavens. How will you stand against such a fate? Girl, I don't know. I don't know how you can, um, tell all that, but okay. Did I miss Ken and Junpei? I'm not sure, Cupid. We already talked to them. Um. Let's think of... Maybe we think of Odagiri since we just hung out with him. Shoot, I should have thought of Haize. Because I know that we haven't been able to rank up with him in a while. Hi Yang, welcome in. Thanks for having your seat. Yep, yeah, Makoto and Odagiri real? <laughs> you have to mistake the cables on the floor with hair on your screen. No, I completely understand that. Like, what is that? Oh my god, Sunday. Makoto's thinking about thinking about the school trip <laughs> with Ryoji and Junpei. <laughs> I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I'm actually so upset. I have to go to the bathroom though. Um, Joe, thank you so much for grabbing your seat. Welcome in. Um. Who can we hang out with? I guess we can hang, hang out with Haize. So maybe we should do that. <sighs> it's Suru, hello! Oh, right. I just got a report from the laboratory. They are optimistic that Igos can be fully repaired. However, they are unsure as to how long it may take. Well. Oh, I see. But she was seriously damaged, so I'm just relieved to hear that they can fix her at all. Oh. Yeah, me too. I hope she can come back soon, though. Um. I was thinking about what Strega has been saying this whole time. Oh my god, we still have Strega to deal with. I'm tired. I'm tired, y'all. Also, TLBG, welcome back. That reminds me a little of what Ryoji-kun was talking about. So, they must have known something about the fall. That's... It's so frustrating. It feels like we're being laughed at. There's nothing we can do about it now. Let's just concentrate on Nyx. Hey, so... I wonder what Ryoji-kun is doing right now. He actually seemed the most upset about the world coming to an end. I can't help worrying about him too. Um, right. That's right. He hasn't wished for the fall to happen either. I'm sure he wants the same thing we do. I feel like his mind is gonna change though. Like, he's gonna essentially become a Ryoji we don't know. I don't know. Um. 
Can we do anything? Anything at all? This is just so difficult. Sorry, I shouldn't expect you to have an answer for ready for any- for everything. So sorry, Ken. Can't save here. I need to go to the bathroom. I'll let you guys look at Makoto and Koro. Alright. Remember the sweet times of an hour ago when you thought we were gonna face Stray Guy on the full moon? <laughs> I was like, yeah, we can get rid of, uh... The Gwink! For good! And then, nope! That did not happen. Alright. Give me like two minutes, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, let me see if I can run an ad while I'm gone. It looks like I can't because there's just one that played. Dang it! Okay. I'll be right back, guys. Y'all can check your yeehaws. How we feeling? 75% yeehawing? I don't feel like that. Anyway. Okay. One sec. Hello! Hi Ziggy, welcome in! And Edson, hi, thanks for grabbing your seats. <sighs> okay. It's Sunday. I think we're gonna go hang out with Haize. Koro is such a cutie pie. Ziggy, thank you so much for the mod love. Star Arcana? Yes, okay, we have one. Good. Who is A? Stop, we like Haize! <laughs> Wait, I think I can just respond to his text message. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Haley, thank you for dropping that link. There's a Discord link. Stray to try to stop us from destroying the shadows. That's true, they did. They're like, you can't destroy the shadows, otherwise we'll get rid of the dark now. So maybe they were right. <laughs> yeah.
All right, Sunday night. Still hate the murder squink. Oh, me too. Aki? Hmm? Oh, it's you. Sorry, I was just thinking. <laughs> oh my god. I was wondering if I meet Shinji again someday, what would he say to me? What would he say? No. I bet he wouldn't say anything. He just punched me in the face before either of us had the chance to speak. <laughs> He's got a strong right hook, so I'm sure it's gonna hurt. I'm tired of this grandpa. <laughs> I'm tired of this. <laughs> God. He screenshotted too. <laughs> He's like a disguise. Uh, hi, notice. Welcome in. I, I hate this game. Uh. I can't seem to calm down. Damn it! What can we do? Not even Aki can be calm. My gosh. That Ryoji, he just up and disappeared. After dropping that huge bomb about the world ending and us having to make a decision by New Year's Eve. What the hell, man? This ain't funny. <sighs> Hi, Cora. We can have some nice Cora time. Let's buy more of these, I guess. And. Also, I have been seeing some deleted messages in chat more than usual today, so let me just remind y'all, please no foreshadowing for events that are gonna happen, please no spoilers. Um, sometimes you may think that you're being sneaky or like slick with foreshadowing, but I think mods can tell. And I can tell too. So just be careful. Um, also, Verzu, thank you for the mod love. Appreciate that. Um... Can we get burger today? Please? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for the model of Spidey Man, Angie, Memento, Holly, Cupid. Oof. You're gonna hate this part. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's eat. Do we think we can complete this today? I don't know. Glance. Let's try glancing. God! No! Oh my god! I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this. It's fine. <laughs> Poor Makoto. <laughs> Morning. Hi, Yukari. I'm in shambles. Is this the in and out challenge? Is there actually an in and out challenge? Things have been pretty... <laughs> Things have been pretty crazy lately, huh? No one's in the mood to talk either. It's understandable. Yeah. I just can't stop thinking about it. Even when we still have to do our best at school. No, literally. Makoto going, death is inevitable. I eat the burger. <laughs> it's December already? It's almost the end of the year. Let's not ruin our last month this year with laziness, okay? Girl, I don't want to go through exams right now. Now is not the time. Exams start next Monday, though did we just have them not too long ago? The material on the exam begins on page 160 and will include today's lesson as well. The 
let's see, how about we go over the definition of allotropy? You know who I wish is right here? Not this guy. The property of a certain element. The property of certain elements that can exist in two or more forms that are chemically identical yet physically discrete. Does that make sense? Well, allotropy is very common. More common than you might think, like oxygen for example. What's the name of the stratospheric layer of molecules comprised of three oxygen atoms? Ozone? I don't have the- I don't have the network on. Uh oh. I think that is pubescent student in his seat now. That's so unfair. Correct. Yes. Wow, good job. I'm sure you'll do fine in the exam. The oxygen molecule is vital to humanity in general, but the ozone allotrope in particular is necessary for life on Earth. You are unaware that the ozone layer absorbs harmful ultra-radiant- ultraviolet radiation, right? Sadly, due to the de destruction of our climate, there's less and less ozone protecting us. I probably have nothing to worry about, but you kids might. <laughs> we might need- we need be more environmentally friendly for the sake of all life on this planet. Yeah, except if the world's ending in the month, then who cares? No one can hang out? Mitsuru is the only one available. Wow. Goodbye. Yeah, she said climate change is your problem. CBK, welcome back from lunch. How are we doing? Not good. I'm extremely upset. How was lunch? What did you have? You know what I just remembered? I don't know why I just remembered this while I was talking to... Hi Kenji. Or while the teacher was talking. I remember there was a scene sometime at the beginning of the game. I forgot who asked Mikoto this. But... They're like, how's life as a Persona user? I don't remember if it was Pharos or if it was someone else. But one of Mikoto's answers was, something's missing. And now I'm like, was that something that he's thinking of? Ryoji inside him? The death inside him? I'm very ill. Yeah, it was Pharaohs? Okay. That was hidden in the depths of my brain. <laughs> Hi Arden, welcome in. Why are you upset? Because the game is tearing my heart to pieces, and it's just so tragic. Alright, let's hang out with Mitsuru. Hello. I see. Do I not have an Empress Arcana? I don't. I'm just so lazy. Hello. We're going to the strip mall, okay. Interesting. So this takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. <laughs> She's trying takoyaki for the first time. I know Mitsuru Monday. Yeah, release it for the Emperor for for Odagiri. It's okay. I mean that does make sense. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. Sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. Mm, want me to treat you? <laughs> Who do you think I am? Please, allow me to be the one to treat you. Okay. <laughs> what? They don't accept credit cards. <sighs> Oopie. So it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. Mm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Hmm? 
Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. Her French, oh my goodness. Me. Akihiko once mentioned this place. Mm. Speaking of Akihiko, don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it. I've known him for quite a long time. It feels like something's changed. Maybe he's mm. just maturing. Mm. Oh. Are you happy? Of course I'm happy. Oh. With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over what's happened in the past. But Akihiko is using his experiences to make himself stronger. I'm quite impressed by that. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. Whoa, maybe you're in love? <laughs> maybe you're anxious? Must be sadness? I don't want to say you're in love. Maybe you're anxious. Anxious? Hmm. You may be right. Maybe a part of me is panicking because I feel like I'm being left behind. Oh no! Sorry, don't mind me. It seriously seems to have a lot in her mind. I really like her social link. Oh my gosh, that was so nice. And the fact that we ranked up three times with her today. Crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling. Just forget I said anything. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. Hmm? I'm oh. not sure what Wait. You I think. Oh. Wait. <laughs> was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. <laughs> oh. Well, it's fine. <laughs> no, literally, Allegra is so good. Again, all the voice actors in this game are just incredible. Oh, hello. Um, why don't we all try to cheer up a little? I'm not sad though. Makoto, shut up. <laughs> good, good idea. Oh, um, thank you. Sorry, I think I'm actually the one who's the most uneasy right now. Our crops are ready, yay! Yay, our crops are ready! Um, everyone's been thinking about the, the decision we have to make. Have you given it any thought? I've been trying to. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's not an easy decision to make. Hello. We have to make such a difficult decision. Could you ever have imagined that we'd be in this situation? <sighs> Never in a million what? years! Neither can I. But regardless, it's happening. We must decide what we are going to do about it. Um. I don't usually feel this way, but I'm kind of glad we have exams soon. Because when I'm studying, I don't have to think about what will happen to us. Oh my god, he's angry! Everyone at school is just going about their day as if nothing's wrong. They think everything's normal. Must be nice. Is that what being happy is like? <sighs> Ignorance is bliss, I guess. I'm gonna scream. Are you playing the new Stardew update? I have not. I haven't played the new Stardew, Stardew update. Have any of you? Wait, seriously? Figures. I finally learned something about myself, and now I'm gonna die. It's probably what Chidori meant when she said she was afraid. Chidori, I think I finally get it now. Hey. You make a schedule so you can achieve a goal, but without a future, a training schedule is pointless. Damn it! I don't know what to do. And playing it now. Spooky, how is it? I think I saw that there's a new farm, right? Okay. Hi, Rio. Welcome in. How's it going? Currently playing Stardew 1.6 while up in your stream. Ooh, on the second Monday, y'all. I hope you're enjoying. All 
Alright, um... Maybe we can go think about someone. Think of... Maybe him? It's been so long since we hung out with him, with Miyamoto. Okay, cool. It's really cute. Start a brand new file with no mods. Always oh, super cute, but just oh. haven't noticed anything. Uh, oh, haven't noticed anything super crazy yet. Okay, I see. I saw that there are new pets that you can have. Like, you can have turtles. And of course, you can have more than one pet on our farm now. Good morning, baby girl Kun. Um, have you reached a decision about, you know... Girl, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like we have to try and fight Nyx. I feel like that's what we have to do. Like, that's the way that the game wants us to go. Fight Nyx. To try to not forget our memories, you know? And not kill Ryoji. I'm just saying I'm not sure yet. I think... Honestly, I'm scared. I wonder what everyone else is thinking. Even Amada-kun looked troubled. <sighs> Where's Igis? I want her back. <laughs> I guess, please, please. <laughs> um, are you going good? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm glad that you're doing well. Love the blue grass and new farm. I don't think I've seen it yet. So, uh... Ryoji has been coming to school. I wonder what he's been up to. Your exam scores can affect your career opportunities, you know. Oh man, now I feel sick to my stomach. This test is just another small mountain on my path. The true challenge is the college entrances, entrance exams. Everything else is just practice. I'm sure we'll both study more than we ever imagined we'd have to for them. Okay, let's actually go get a... Um, a empress persona this time. Also, Haley, no worries. Thank you for being here. Good luck with your meeting. Um, let's get rid of this. Save. Okay. This game has a thing for moving characters in pairs. Yeah, Mitsuru's down in Nakutsuki. I guess to Ryoji. Welcome to the Velvet Room. It hurts me. This is your progress so far. Okay, um... Empress. This this I'll just acceptable. get you. May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look... Okay. Forgot to save was three levels behind. Wait, what do you mean? Did you forget to save in um, Tartarus? Then your game crashed or you died? It happened again. I got warned by my boss for gathering info. I was out looking into Mr. Carijo and Mr. Akutsuki's relationship and the boss called me off. I asked him why and all he gave me was the usual bull about the higher ups not liking it. But this pattern, it's similar to the GeckoCon student incidents. There's something else behind all this, I'm sure of it. You are a very smart reporter. Okay, I'm so sorry I'm not gonna tell you anything. <laughs> okay. Kinda wanna play P3 Dancing now? Yeah, just to see the characters happy for once, you should. Okay, we're going to the library. You know, 
There's not much time left for us to spend like this. In just a short while, we'll be looking back on these days with nostalgia. Or not at all? <laughs> What's next for you? Well... Since my father passed away, I've been faced with a number of complicated issues. My inheritance, the future of the Kirijo group, and the expectations of everyone involved with both. It's possible I won't be going to college or starting a career. I may need to walk a different path. Say... Hey. What does marriage mean to you? Um... For love? <laughs> That's a straightforward answer. However, I'm a Kirijo. I can't let my feelings tug me around when making these decisions. Girl, it's marriage, though! Your feelings you have to be involved in marriage! An agreement between two parties, such as marriage, okay. takes careful consideration. Okay, that's true. My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons, but as time passed, they slowly grew to honestly love each other. I don't think they were unhappy with their lives. Love can take many different forms. Am I wrong about this? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> God! I don't want to say that to her. I think she would get upset. It's a tough one. If I could speak with my father one last time, I would ask oh. him directly. I lent an ear to Natsuru. And... Yeah, she has a girlfriend. Looks like we ended up staying until closing time. Talking in the library. <laughs> I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. Uh-oh. <laughs> we should go. I'm so happy we finally unlocked our social link. I feel like this is... I don't know. Giving me a much better look at her and who she is as a person. Rather than... Just seeing her through the story, you know? I like how Mitsuru's link happens to light in the game. Yeah, it feels like she's really opening up after her dad dying. Exactly! I really like it! Also, Duke, hello, welcome in. I take it today has been nothing but fun and happy times. Yes! It's been totally chill and not sad at all and does not make me want to scream and cry. <laughs> Duke, welcome in. Who are you? You know what? Let's go for a walk. You. Hey, girly! Oh, oh my god, her outfit is so cute. So cute. I, uh, ran out of soy uh -oh. sauce, so... My dang controller. Oh, um, is that dog... Um... He doesn't bite, does he? Nope. I'm actually a little afraid of dogs. I was attacked by one when I was little. Or girly. It only knocked me over, but ever since then. Koro is so kind and would never do that. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm still a little scared, but maybe I'll be okay with this one. Um, I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll see you at school then. Oh, I agree. I don't- I can't see Mitsuru with Makoto either. That's just me, though. Hey. Hi, Aki! Yo, baby girl. Even though we're about to face death, we're still going to school as if nothing's happened. Have you decided? No. I haven't. But I'm not trying to avoid it either. I want to believe that I'll reach an answer. I wonder when they're gonna... All right, all right. 
All right, everyone, finals are almost here. I don't care about this right now. I'm so sorry. What if I just skip through all this? <laughs> I don't have the never gone. Fuck. Hmm. What sorcery was Himiko said to have used? Keto. I think I saw the word keto in there somewhere. gonna say oh yeah I just I wonder when they're gonna have us make a decision don't tell me don't tell me how long it'll take but also let me look at the calendar it's crazy how a full moon falls on falls on New Year's Eve I wonder if that's gonna be it Finals are all next week. The Emperor's birthday is on Wednesday. Okay. Ending ceremony. The day after Christmas. Damn. All right. You could hang out with Mitsuru or Hayase. Yeah, happy birthday, Odagiri. <laughs> When did they actually use the moon cycle from 2009? That'd be really interesting. I feel like someone had to have done research on that. Also, thank you for the follows, everyone. Welcome in. I for doing great today. Everyone ignores his existence. No, seriously, like, I do not care about him at all. I think we'll hang out with Haize. My little bro has been begging me to pick up some new tunes for him, but I don't know much about music. I can really use your help. Okay. I've been waiting for a while, but Hayase still isn't here. Let's see. Let's look around for him? He's not in any of the nearby shops. Hmm. I guess I'll keep waiting. Hayase still isn't here. Well. No, I feel like we have to wait longer. I want to know what happened, but also I don't want this to be like me, Makoto, being angry with him. You know what happened? I'm really sorry, but actually, my mom fainted. Oh no! I'm at the hospital right now. They said it's exhaustion since she works from morning till night. Cupid, I was gonna say that. I was thinking it. Yumi, your mother collapsed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, Zay. Ah, she works from morning till night, girly. It's all my fault. How is this your fault? And my mom. She's trying to leave. She says we can't afford the medical bills. Oh. God damn it. Why can't I do anything? I'm useless. Just another one of her problems. I'm sorry about all that. I... I don't want to be a problem for you too. But I'm glad you were the one to hear me out. Talking about this kind of helped. Hayase's going through some awful times, girl. Literally everyone's going through horrible times right now. I'm... <sighs> Poor Hayase. 
So hi Nina, welcome in. How are you? The trauma hot potato is so real. Just bouncing around everyone. Okay. Poor Haize. You're just a teenager. Like you You're just a kid. Hey. Welcome back. It's already been a week since Ryoshi kun told us everything, huh? I couldn't sleep for three days after that. It feels weird being this scared. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm only just now realizing. No one really knows how much they take their lives for granted. Until they think there's a real possibility they might lose it. Yukari. Yeah. When you saved us on that monorail, I thought I understood the weight of life, but it turns out it's actually way heavier than I thought. We can- we can study with Koromaru and Ken! <laughs> we have to. <laughs> I know Yukari truing so hard right now. Oh no, the ads. The ads started. <sighs> I will wait. I will wait till the ads are done until we hang out with Ken and Koro. Yeah, surely it'll be a happy study session. Surely. Um, let me... Let me go here. How are you feeling about the game Astral? It's painful. It hurts me. It's great. I've never felt like this about a Persona game before. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Omega Drive. By the way, much obliged. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. What you want All right. I'll We're so out. rich. You finished? Be seeing you. Nice. Hmm. P4 was painful too. <laughs> For a different reason. Exactly. Is there anything else I can do here? Got so many apathy syndrome people. Sold out. Oh no. Oh, I don't. I don't really need. I don't need money. Build muscle by using your mind. I don't know what that would be for. For charm, but you know what? I'll buy it. Should we call it depression three year old? Honestly, so true. Everyone in this game is depressed and sad. And it makes me extremely sad as well. <laughs> um, haven't played P3 yet. Uh, or do you mean P4? Her Teddy is different in Japanese. His English localization was bad. Honestly, maybe. Apparently in Japanese, Teddy was a lot more tame. Basically spoken nothing but- Oh, TV advertising slogans? The reason the English localization was made how it was is that the slogans wouldn't have made sense in English because the context wouldn't have been there. Mm. Yeah, it's supposed to be very childish, and he just came off like a creep. The biggest creep. Okay, thank you for watching ads, guys. I think the ads should be done. So now we can go hang out with Ken and Koro. Let's do some studying. Oh, baby girl son. I have some homework to do, but I'm having trouble getting started on it. By the way, baby girl son, you all have exams coming up, right? Well, in that case, why don't we study together? Thank you very much. You will? Thank you. Well then, let's do our best. Sorry to bother you like this. I just had a hard time focusing when I tried doing my homework alone. They're so cute. Thank you for agreeing to study with me. 
Koromaru says he'll study with us too. Right, boy? <laughs> He's so happy! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I need to... I need to save that. It must be tough for you guys having to think about tests at a time like this. Hmm, maybe a little. I guess even you feel the pressure, huh? It makes me wonder. Should I really be doing homework at a time like this? I don't know. Still, the only thing we can do is carry on and complete our schoolwork as always. What's the matter, Koromaru? Huh. He's got something in his mouth. <laughs> Mad Bull, thanks! <laughs> Thank you, Koro. Did you bring this here for us? <laughs> thanks, Koromaru. Oh. I guess he's trying to cheer us up. I shouldn't make him worry so much. Okay, time to study. If I have any questions, can I ask you for help? Of course. And done. That's it for my homework. Look at Koro in the background. He's just laying down and watching. So cute. Oh, you're still studying, aren't you? Is it okay if I stay here for a little while? I'll be sure not to bother you. Koromaru and I will be cheering you on. Good luck. <laughs> I can do studying with Amara and Koromaru by my side. So cute. Bro, we don't even need that, but it's okay. Oh, are you all done now? Cool. Koro's gone. Koromaru was with us the oh. whole wait, what? Where did he go? Oh Were you waiting for us to finish? <laughs> I guess it's our turn to hang out with him. Thanks for studying with me today. If you're okay with it, I'd like to do this again sometime. I love them. I love them so much. They're so cute. Oh yeah, what's this? Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. Girl, I don't want to go into Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Thanks, Elizabeth. I don't know if you know what we have found out, but... God. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Did these were the slice of life moments? Yeah, even though you didn't need it either. Same here. I just, I like seeing all the conversations between them. Seeing them connect to each other. Good morning. How does everyone seem regarding that discussion? You're thinking hard. Right. I see. Well, I feel the same as the others. But we can't continue on like this forever. We should talk it. We should talk with everyone tonight. Oh my god. It's decision time. I have fear in my heart. We're gonna go hang out with Mitsuru, okay. Let's go. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, baby girl. I have somewhere to be later. Would you like to join me? Thank you. The truth is, a friend of ours told me that I should go out and unwind. Normally, I wouldn't give it another thought, but I admit it might do me some good this time. Shall we go then? The movies? It's so simple. You just purchase a ticket at the window and then walk in to enjoy She's the She's never gone to a movie theater. Oh my goodness. And Ori, thank you so much for hanging out. Good night. Get some good sleep. Had Ken and Makoto goes to Tartarus, fights his ass off for a long time, yes, to get his mind off everything and destroys Nyx. I would love that. This may sound silly to you, but I've always wanted to try the whole theater experience. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel that my view was compromised in the least. 
It seems a lot of thought goes into the design and construction of a movie theater. Said the rich girl. We can't say that. Glad you enjoyed it. It's thanks to you. I've never felt comfortable enough to come here alone. I'm sure most people don't consider this to be such a big deal. I imagine someone like Yukari would have no reservations seeing a movie by herself. She's likely more suited to riding a motorcycle than I am as well. <laughs> Girly, why don't you invite her out sometime? A motorcycle? Yes, you must have seen it when I rode in to provide support for I the remember. Team. However, that wasn't my original motivation for getting it. What was? With a motorcycle, I can go where I want, when I want, all on my own. You could say it's my modest attempt at rebellion against the many restrictions of my life. Interesting. After it was damaged, I considered letting go, but ultimately I decided to have it repaired instead. I don't regret it. Even now, I spend my time tuning it whenever I can. But let's go for a ride. Uh oh. Together? Just the two of us. Can you ride one on your own? <laughs> or do you plan to cling on behind me? <laughs> oh! Whichever Ooh, it is, okay. Okay. you've got your work <laughs> In any case, you have my thanks. I'm feeling a lot better now. Good. Cute! Oh! So cute! Yeah, the two of us and Yukari, please! <laughs> You know, I have to wonder, when my parents went through stressful times, maybe they had moments like this too. Sorry, I know oh my this God. isn't a common place to stand around chatting, but if it's all right with you, why don't we stay here a bit longer before heading back? Sure. So you're adorable. Oh, brother. All right. It looks like everyone's here now. Well, it's been a week. What's our plan? You okay, Fuka? You're just so calm, Yukari-chan. I mean, panicking's not gonna solve anything. That's true, that's true, Yukari! Besides, it's been such a drag around here all week, and no one will go to Tartarus. <laughs> Yukari's like, get me in there! You're absolutely right. We humans are quite resilient. With enough time, we can adapt to any situation. So? How about it, everyone? It's time we discuss this. Have you made up your mind, Sonata-san? No, but I don't plan on running away. So you're going to fight Nyx? I don't know. I mean, it supposedly can't be defeated. I feel like we can. What about you? <laughs> what are your thoughts on it? Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really contemplated my own death. In any case, we have to choose one way or the other. I obviously don't want to suffer, but that means we'd have to take a life. Not to mention, we die no matter what we do. Then, do we all agree that we don't want to hurt Ryoji-kun? Is that how you feel? M me? Um... That's fair. I mean, it's not exactly normal to pick how you're gonna die. What about you, Junpei? Have you decided? Nah. What's the matter? Scared? Of course! What the hell is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? Junpei, I... Damn. I'm... This is death we're talking about here! Damn. Of course I'm scared! Here you all are, just chatting it up like it's a goddamn picnic. Can't you see? We're all gonna die! Then what do you think we should do? Do you want to kill him? There's nothing I can do! He's the only one who can kill him! Fuck. Hey! <sighs> this whole thing... No, no, Junpei. We're not. We're not gonna go here. Okay. You had that thing inside you and didn't even know it. Makoto was also like, how old? How old was he? How old is he now? Like 16, 17? He was like six years old when that happened. You raised it, damn it! If it weren't for you, none of this would have happened. 
Chunpei! You're supposed to be special, right? Then do something about it! God, now I feel bad for Makoto. I'm not running from this. Stop it, Junpei. It's not his fault. And the only reason we even have a choice is because he carried it. God damn it, I know! It's just... It doesn't matter how many times I tell myself. I know this doesn't fix anything. It scares the hell out of me! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. You're all scared. I'm scared too. Me too. I've never felt so cornered in my life. <sighs> I can't stop shaking. These poor kids, y'all. I'm here. We're all in the same boat. And hey, I'm sorry for teasing you earlier. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to forget everything. I've learned so much since coming here. Yukatan, I'm sorry. Stop. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. These these kids are gonna kill me. <laughs> They're gonna kill me. <laughs> I don't think any of us can blame you right now, Junpei. So don't worry about it. Right? I'm sorry. Oh, poor Makoto. I like, I never even really thought about how Makoto probably feels like bringing, bringing this here. I was thinking about every other character, but like Makoto himself has to feel so bad and guilty, you know? And also just like coming to the realization that for 10 years you're carrying like death, death incarnate inside of you. Sorry. You got nothing to be sorry for. I knew the truth deep down. But still, sorry for being a dick. All right. Let's put God. a pause on any unnecessary gatherings for now. Ryoji said he'll be back on New Year's Eve. Let's just try to go about our lives. Until How? Then. How do we do this? <laughs> we have some time. So let's consider our options while we still can. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, I'm leaking again. This fucking song. I'm over it. <laughs> what if I ate my wall? So true, Cupid. So true. You know what I like about um about this team as well? It's a fact that they all have something to say. They all have their own opinions. And... I don't know, I feel like it's... It's more of a discussion rather than like in... I feel like in Persona 4 and 5, it would always just be like... Okay, Joker! What do you think we should do? And like, they... They would always just go along with whatever Joker says. Right? Or... Whatever you says. Um, and I don't know, it feels like they're all just so distinct from one another. They all have their own opinions and reasons for their opinions. You know? Sorry. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! Ah! <laughs> This game. You know that sinking feeling when you hit a dead end? Yeah, it sucks. Junpei, I love you. Can we hug it out? I'm so sorry, Junpei. <sighs> um, got that super strong later on when Makoto was strategizing with, um, the PTs making plans, clearly being the- yeah, smartest person in the room. Yeah, but then she'd still turn a Joker for approval, right? Lord. 
many times he said I love him so much right during my playthrough. They're just so good. They all care uh, care about each other so much, right? Despite being so distinct, right? Man, very honest with each other without pulling punches. I agree, Chiva. Only part that's somewhat similar to this in P4 would be with Namatame. I yes, C Cyber for sure. I think during that part in Persona 4, they all they all were like, wait a minute, there were conflicting feelings there and everything. 100 percent Um <sighs> That's so true, Mud. Yeah, everyone would have died ten years ago if I guess did not do that. And if Makoto wasn't there, so Lord. Hi back, Zach. Welcome in. Let's show the Joker too quickly, whereas here they all feel like separate individuals. Motivations. Mm hmm. But even before the remake, he felt Peter was best. That's completely understandable. Do you have a tier list yet, or do you do it after? I do not have a tier list yet. I think we can make one when I'm done with the game. Um. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's a. That's what I thought. It's like. It's so interesting, because, like, ever since I started playing P3, I was just like, wow, this story is so good, and these social links are so interesting, the way they set up the protagonist is so interesting as well, and, like, I just think about Persona 4 and Persona 5, and don't get me wrong, again, I love Persona 5 so much. I did enjoy Persona 4, but it just makes you think, like, what happened? <laughs> what happened with Persona 4 and 5? Where they decided to change it to have... To have Joker and you be, like, that type of protagonist, you know? Um, interpersonal relationships are your favorite. I agree, Boots. Like, they did it so well here. They all... They just feel so real. It feels like they have such a such distinct connections with one another. And I like that I like that Makoto's not the not the main factor that all of them are friends. You know, like they all went to school together before Makoto showed up. Mitsuru and Aki have such deep history with one another. Um Ken, Junpei, and Yukari knew each other before Makoto, like, knew any of them, basically. I don't know, I just, I really like it. I love it. Are there different writing themes? I'm not sure. I think there is the same director for 3, 4, and 5. I don't know. What's interesting is P3 was Alice's last shot at the time. Oh, was it really? You can tell they put their whole heart into it, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that, um... Alice thought that this would be their last... last game, I guess. Um... One of the themes of this game is so interwoven, there's no random... Yeah, oh, we got to kill this random god now. <laughs> Literally Cupid. I feel like in Persona 5, that was so random. Like, with four... I think the ending worked worked well, like the true ending of 4, but definitely with 5 I was like, oh this is, this is interesting. <laughs> oh, for sure, yeah, the voice acting, the voice acted social links helped so much with this. I really hope that they continue to do full voice acted social links in Persona 6. But I know in Persona 5, the social links are for sure like much, much longer. Um, so maybe that's why they didn't do that. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, no, literally Kaneshiro. I did not like him. Um. I feel like both styles, I feel like Joker and Makoto are com complementary opposites within Persona for tags. Yeah, love them both because of how similar yet different they are. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I love Joker. I love Joker so much. I think he's so silly. Um, yeah. Just in terms of how they handle the protagonist, in all the games, I definitely prefer 
Persona 3. Gosh. I feel like IRL, there are many friendships that are similar to one that Joker has with his friends. People only really revolve around each other, yet if that main person's around... Something about friendship like the one piece of that hits, yes, for sure. I think you're so right about that, so young. Like, people... I think a lot of times, especially in high school, you can just be friends with people out of convenience, and then there's that one person who just, like, is the glue and holds people together. That's so Joker. Um... And then with this, I don't know who the glue could be here. Like, is there is there a person who fits that? I mean, obviously they're all here for one purpose, being C's. You say Yukari? Okay, I can see that. I almost want to say Aki. No, no. Yakuchi was the glue, but now he's gone and they're still working together, you know? Koromaru, yes. Koromaru can be the glue. Um, hard to look back in these games of clarity at the time everyone thought P4 was an upgrade. That's interesting. Mm. The glue is the dorm. Yeah, the glue is the dorm and just like C's in general, I guess you could say. Because without C's, then really none of them would would be here. <laughs> Junbei keeps everyone hyped in the way Kai cares about. Yeah, everyone's feelings. True. Aki would not know he was the glue. Holly, you're right. <laughs> the glue is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> I love it. What if everyone was the glue? Yuka, uh, I love that, Yuka. Man. Okay, let's talk to everyone. <sighs> Karamaru is always so calm and collected. Dogged, really. He was at that shrine all by himself. I, I want to be more like Karamaru. I don't want to be stuck in the past anymore. Karamaru? Karamaru being the glue? Does this, does this help your everyone's argument about that? Aragaki san let me live for a reason. Oh. Hey, so don't worry about what Junpei said earlier, okay? You know, all that stuff about how Ryoji kun was inside you. I'm sorry. <laughs> that sentence. That sentence. <laughs> no one thinks it's your fault. <laughs> You're still you. The same person now as you've always been. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> I had considered the possibility that we could simply stop Ryoji from initiating the fall. But it appears that isn't a possibility after all. And if we kill him, we'll lose our memories, but still be able to, un to prevent it. Yeah. I wonder if Ryoji Kun will come back for New Year's Eve. What is he doing now? Is he crying like before? <gasps> Fuka! I don't want to think about that. Guys, I want Ryoji to come back. To come back on Christmas! Come hang out with us for Christmas! Mm -hmm. It's fine. I'm totally chill. What would he do at a time like this? He'd probably fight the end of the world with all he has. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's what he would do. He so would. And I miss Igus. We need her back. Um, not the clip. <laughs> Mitsuru is the glue because she's one of the first person users. Family is the first ones who experience shouts in the dark hour. Yeah, and when there's a big decision to make, she's the one that gathers everyone. That's true. And she's like... I don't know, I feel like she's... They call Makoto the leader, but I feel like Mitsuru is also a very good leader. P4 
pee pee poo poo time. Great. You know, Ryoji has to die or something like that. Doesn't he, he doesn't have to spend his last days alone. I know, that's what I'm thinking too. Like, please, just come hang out with us. That hurts me. Oh no, y'all. It's like he doesn't want it to hurt even more. You know, now he's being the avoidant. Thank you for the two month resub. I appreciate it. What like watch? Thank you. I know he's staying away. I just can't get over the fact that it's because of Makoto that he's he got all these human emotions, all these feelings. No more. I want to see you text. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. I'm sorry, Koro. I'm sorry! Wait, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna impress you. Cause I think... I think Makoto deserves this. Deserves some Koro time. That line again. We love you, Koromaru. Um, reminds me of something in another Persona game. Boots, I will cry. <laughs> Everyone, listen up. I will actually start crying again. <laughs> love how Pharaoh's got more human. Yeah, it's time on two, right? And he was crying at the end. Oh my god, he was crying. He was so sad. Oh god. Exam start on Monday. Have you guys been studying? I'm the one who takes the ball if you don't score well, you know. Open your textbooks for today's lesson. On incorrect use of the plural form. These can trip up a lot of people. The most common forms end in S, E, S, and I, E, S. Got it? What? However, there are some irregular plural forms, too. You seem confused, Yori-kun. you know which of the following is an irregular plural noun? Huh? An irregular plural noun? Dreams? Lives? Wishes? I, I don't know. Lives? Like most singular nouns, you can add S to dream to form dreams. Since wish ends in SH, you have to add ES to get this plural form wishes. Okay. <sighs> If only they'd met a bit sooner. I will barf. <laughs> Seven years of English education? I have no idea. No, literally, me <laughs> an English bachelor. I took so many English classes in college, I'm like, what the hell was that question? <laughs> How am I supposed to think about exams when the world's coming to an end? Seriously. It's almost Christmas, and you know what that means. Presents. I've got a great idea. I'm gonna give Kurijo Sanbai a gift. Could you please Santa for me and give her my present? No. <laughs> Jeez, I was kidding. I don't have to look so serious. She might avoid me if I did that, but it would be worth it to give her a gift. Okay. Almost Christmas, I know.
Okay, let's go hang out with Mitsu. There you are. Fab me, welcome in. And Hugh, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Sorry to drag you along on this personal venture. <sighs> Looking for something specific? No, not exactly, but thank you. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are so many books about romance, but Far fewer on the domestic life that comes after it. I wonder if that means the most exciting time in one's life comes prior to the wedding. Does everyone go into marriage with the expectation of losing something? The truth mm -hmm. is, the group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. And some of the older members are of the opinion that a student like me isn't up to the task. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. You're also only like- I need to show that I can take the lead. 17. Even if I have to make sacrifices to do it. Did something happen? Uh, fiance has been chosen for me. He's the new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older. Mm. Mm. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secured. You don't have to do that. He's planning to announce the partnership and our engagement at the same time. Doing so will give the appearance that the company is stable both- Girl, inside. you don't have to do that. This is the best solution for everyone involved. But not for you. Is it really? This was decided a long time ago. It's just going to take place a bit sooner than originally planned. That's all. This is for the best. My mother and father walked the same path, so I won't run from my fate. I'll do something about it. Makoto's gonna walk down to whoever that guy is be like, You can't do this. Are you sure about this? Of course I am. Fuck. Think about it. What would I do if I broke off the engagement? Leave everything behind and go on a journey of self-discovery? Yes! And then you can go ask out Yukari! Why would you ask me that? You're making me doubt myself. The Sura looks conflicted. Man. <laughs> My god, I've said lesbian skip behind me! Say, Recently, I've been feeling a little hesitant about meeting up with you like this. Why? I already made the decision to carry out my duty, but whenever I talk with you, my resolve begins to falter. Why do I feel this way when I'm with you? Hmm. I, I think wonder. It would be best if we left off here for today. I wonder, Mitsuru. Sorry to do this after inviting you out here, but I need to head home and go over some paperwork on the partnership. Excuse me. Or Mitsuru. I see you're back. Exams begin next week. I know it's hard to focus, but don't ignore the present because you're worried about the future. That would just be giving up on life. No point Perfect. in that. Personally, I'm gonna keep on like always. I'll keep going to Tartarus and studying too. I'm not leaving the ring without a fight. We can go have a little study session. We should for sure do that. Oh yeah, I need to turn on the network. Um. Network functions on. Fuck, what? There we go. <laughs> Finally, thank you, Pookie. Hi! Hi there, little Misho. How are you? You're so pretty. You wanna come sit?
Thank you. Please keep me company while I'm in turmoil. Hi. Smells so good. Dude, I'm in serious trouble. I haven't studied at all for the exams. What about you? Hmm. Not at all. <laughs> That's why we're buddies, man. Let's fail together. <laughs> Sucks that we have exams at a time like this. Are you studying for them? Huh? I love that I just told them both different answers. I'm impressed you're able to concentrate with all that's going on. Uh, it'll be hard to go back the way things were. No matter what I do, I find myself going in circles. Um. Okay then. I was thinking about the connection between what Ikutsuki san and Ryoji kun both told us. And then everything finally made sense. Ikutsuki san made us fight the Twelve Shadows in hopes that the Appraiser would return. And by doing so, he managed to fuse Ryoji kun, who was inside you, with the Twelve Shadows. And that's when Ryoji kun appeared to us as the Appraiser in a completed form. God. Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me, Miso, get your booty out of my face. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Oh, right. Let's let's go study. All right. <sighs> Mitsuru, that section won't be covered on the exam. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm having some difficulty concentrating. Guess that's to be expected with everything going on. I'm not immune to it either. Sorry. I know we're the ones who invited you to study, but... Well, just look at us. Of course you can't concentrate. Also, Pookie, thank you for being here. Excuse me, Miso. Wanna sing a song? Makoto, what the hell? It's not your fault. <laughs> we're making you worry, aren't we? Definitely feels like we're the ones getting the most worked up about it. <laughs> so sorry, guys. <laughs> well, we can't let ourselves be outdone now, can we? Rain or shine, this is still the last exam we'll ever take as high school students. Mm. All the more reason to give it our all. You're right. There's no excuse for slacking. It's time to prove what these last three years have led up to. Ooh, I see the fire in your eyes. At this rate, I may have to relinquish my position as top student. That said, test results are but a single measure. What truly matters is that we continue to improve ourselves. May we both make this a triumphant finale to our time here. <laughs> Talk about a heated rivalry. <laughs> and who's the one who stoked the flames? I expect you'll see this study session through to make up for that. Well, I think we've dallied enough. We'll need to make up for lost time. I love them. I can such a strong motivation for Mitsuru and Akiko. I feel like I'm focusing better than usual. I love them so much. Yeah, I may well, die. Didn't realize so much time had passed. <laughs> but I will ace this Guess test. I was in the zone. You were in the zone, Aki. I don't think I've been able to focus this well in a long wow. while. I've just finished reviewing the material. Too so serious, huh? Serious? <laughs> Not even close. But I guess that means we've earned a bit of your respect back. We're almost through this. Keep at it, you two. Cool. Guess that's that. Now all we gotta do is ace the exams. Yeah. I'm emo. I love Aki. I just think about how he... I always think about how he lost Shinji. And it hurts me. This Get out of my face, Mr. Ono.
You know what? Let's close our eyes. We don't need academic points anymore. <laughs> uh, did you see yourself getting this attached? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. I was expecting it to be very good because I know I like before I started playing this people were like yes P3 is my favorite Best story, etc, etc I did not expect this I'm surprised there's even an emoji for this. She's just figuring out what emojis are You're so silly Mitsuru Alright, let's go hang out with, um, Suru, I guess. Yes. Were emojis a thing in 2007? I don't... I don't think so. I think probably just the, like, text emoticons. Like the ones that Maya would send. Y'all, this is crazy. We started the day not even having uh, Mitsuru's social league, and now we're getting to rank 7 I'm with sorry. her. I'm not sure if I should order the same thing as last time or try something completely new. I think I've acquired a taste for fast food. Just the other day, I had the urge to ride my motorcycle out at night to buy some. Wow. <laughs> it's your fault that I'm having these temptations now, you know. <laughs> Do you remember when I told you I was hesitant to meet up with you like this? Maybe like 10 minutes ago. I'd like it if you could forget I ever said that. Oh. We both sleep under the same roof. There's no point in stressing over it. And besides, I just need to steal my resolve. Say, I have just one favor to ask. Could you continue to show me new places like this? Just until graduation. I'd of like course. to see more of this world that I've been so blind to. Or until the world ends. <laughs> Is that too selfish a request? <laughs> Rabbi, thank you for the four months. Thank you for using your prime. Liz, welcome back. Yeah, we're at rank seven already. Crazy. I don't mind at all. Thank you. Let's make some wonderful memories with what little time we have left. You've taught me so many new things. Whether you're taking command in battle or just talking with me like this. As long as I have these memories of you, I'll be all right. Cute. Or so I hope. I hope so too. I can sense Mitsuru's resolve. Oh, girly. Emojis hit iPhone in 2008. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now then, the day is still young. You promised me your time. I'd like you to make good on that now. Don't forget, it's almost time for exams. I've been having a hard time trying to study though. When I'm alone, my mind wanders. Do you think we can maybe study together? Of course. A little Yukari and Fuka study session? No. Although I propose living life as normally as possible, I suppose it's easier said than done. Knowing what's going to happen, it's almost too much to bear. Ugh. Oh, and Junpei's here too! Teammates! Friends? Use XD up until 2013, really? I don't think I... I don't remember ever using XD. Ken been star standing and staring at a wall for days. <laughs> Is he good? I don't think... Like, are you gonna take a seat? You know you can sit down. Where's Aki? I don't know where he is. Also, I'm just patiently waiting for Igus to come back. Oh. Hey. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, let's study together. 
second years are so dear to you, so understandable. I love that. Thank you. Okay. My God. I think I forgot my eraser back in my room. Uh, Junpei, I'm borrowing yours for a sec. Hold on! Only the flat side, okay? It's brand new. <laughs> Gotta keep the corners sharp. Huh? What's the big deal? It's just an eraser. An eraser's corners are a special privilege reserved for the owner. A precious and fleeting source of euphoria. He's he's kind of real for that. Didn't you learned that when you were a kid. <laughs> One man's eraser is another man's treasure. Oh sure. I don't have time for this. Come on, Fuka. You get what I'm saying here? You're laughing, but this is a serious matter. <laughs> oh, sorry. It just crossed my mind how peaceful things are. What a cutie. It's strange that just being able to study with everyone like this can make me feel so happy. Yeah, I know what you mean. It makes me wonder if this might be the last time we ever get to do this. Just kidding. Uh, sorry, forget I said that. I was just thinking about next year. Girl, no, you're thinking about how we were we're gonna die. Okay, no, we're not gonna die. We'll do this next year too. It's fine. Yeah, I guess that's the way to think about it. If I go in expecting the worst, I'm just gonna shut down. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. All right. Time to get back to studying. God. Oh, Fuka, can I have some lead in my pencil? Oh, sure. You can take some from this one. Oh, the Thank mechanical keys. pencils. Oh, Thank you. Uh, let me for a sec. <laughs> Y'all concentrate on studying. They mean so much to me. I love them. Hey, Yukatan. Uh, mind if I borrow your ruler? I guess, but why have you been borrowing all of our stuff? Don't you have your own? Listen, when I heard you forgot your eraser, something just hit me. The simple act of helping each other out is like, that's what it's all about, you know? That's happiness. <laughs> Junpei -kun. That's so nice. You say that, but you probably just <laughs> forgot to bring all your stuff, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but I'm still crying at it. <laughs> oh. Thank you for studying with me, everyone. I hope we can do this again. Oh my god, I can't do this. Yeah, both can be true. Exactly, Lily. <laughs> both can be true. <laughs> Great, it's Sunday. Oh, exams are coming up. Great, Tanaka. What's up? It's amazing. Come on. I'm good. Good, good. Victory headband. Not bad. And a mind supplement. We're gonna we're gonna buy it. Thanks, Tanaka. <sighs> Thanks, but Sumitsu, I do not want to hang out with you. Lord. Hi Raz, welcome back. What do you have for lunch today? How has it been going? It's been going. <laughs> Uh, how are you though? Uh, the dread coming in, yeah, in the later parts of the game is insane. <laughs> Everyone needs a break once in a while. Would you like to join huh? us? Wait, senpai, it's girl time, remember? Girl time plus Ken? But what about me and Koromaru? <laughs> it's okay, dogs and grade schoolers are allowed. Well, you heard her. Sorry, but the decision has been made. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> yeah, Ken's one of the girlies. Oh, <laughs> You're not gonna say, why aren't you studying or something like that? Just so you know, it would be pretty rude to interrupt a conversation like that. Besides, it's important to take breaks too. Precisely. You're right. 
And last minute studying won't make much of a difference anyway. Isn't that... Is that, what Is that your way of saying we're hopeless? That's not very nice, senpai. <laughs> Well, Fukusan, you're a really serious student. I know what you mean, as much as I hate to admit it. Yes, precisely. That's fine. It's probably for the best. In fact, getting back into your routine might help you think more clearly when the day comes. By the way, it's pretty rare for you to be here, Mitsuru san. Is that so? hmm? Is it now? Well, I suppose it's true I've never laughed like this with all of you before. It's a pleasant change of pace. I'll join you again if the opportunity presents itself. <laughs> Mitsuru! We'll be happy to have you anytime. Right, Fuka? Uh -huh. That's so cute! She's just hanging with the girlies and laughing and having a good time. <laughs> and Koro's being so good. Oh, Man. Hi, love can welcome in. Also, pause say to hello. Look at the guys. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, she said we should just act like everything is normal, but that probably refers to keeping our emotions in check. It doesn't mean you don't have to study for exams if that's what you normally do. You'll be fine though, won't you? How about you? Well, I'm good to go. I've gotten us in the habit of studying every day. Lord. Okay, let's go hang out with, um... Hi, Eze. Yo. After we just found out that his mother collapsed. Hi, Eze, your mother collapsed. Yeah. Oh wait, this isn't a rank up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Their appreciation for life and each other- Yeah, it's increasing! I love it! Oh god, exams. Hey, girlies! We'll definitely study with them. Yaki, mmm, is it good? Doc just walked into the room with a lizard on his back? What? Oh my god. Was he outside? Mother collapsed, yeah, and here he is eating takoyaki with us. Crazy. Larry, hello, welcome in. I don't want to dance. I don't want to dance right now. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Daily dose of I guess is crumbling. No, seriously, I guess is gone. I miss her. Oh wait, Raz, do you have, did you have a pizza puff? Is that what you had for lunch? That sounds really good. All right. So I was just talking to Fuka, and we want to try this studying together with everyone, like normal. Mm -hmm. I was going to talk to Kurijo Senpai about it, but it seems like she went out for a bit. I wonder if we'll get in trouble for organizing it without permission. Hmm. Well, we can just apologize if that happens, but do you think anyone else wants to study anyway? Um. You're right, some of them might want to be left alone, but I... Hey. What do you think? Do you want to study and try to get back... Try to get back into the normal swing of things? Yes. Thanks. Really? Yeah, me too. I'm gonna give it a shot and invite everyone. You should get your materials ready in the meantime. Hey, so, uh... Didn't Kurijo senpai say we shouldn't be hanging out like this? We're studying! Studying is fine. Think she'll be mad if she finds out? No. I kind of doubt it, but I won't deny that seeing you all does remind me of recent events. Right. Well then, why don't we just call it a wrap here? Um, Sonata Senpai, I'd like to ask for some help with this question. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, Jimpikun, I wanted to ask you, uh, um. I think I'll take Koromaru for a walk. Hey, wait! <laughs> we'll all take him on a walk when we're done. You can sit back down, Amadeki. <laughs> we can all go for a walk with Koro. Oh. Hmm? Oh, uh, 
I guess you found out. I was planning on inviting you too, Mitsuru Senpai. I do understand that we don't have time for chit chat, but I just wanted to spend time with everyone. Um, uh, this was actually my idea. I was the one who wanted to gather everyone. So, I'm sorry. I don't want everyone to get in trouble for my selfishness. It's fine. Hey, you shouldn't be the only one that has to apologize. I feel the same way, Fuka. Thanks, Yukari-chan. It's just... Girl. When I think this might be the last... Um, in any case, I apologize for this. Let's just call it for today. We're not calling it. No, we're gonna hang out with each other, okay? Thank you. After warning you all, I wasn't sure how to go back on it. I was actually taking a walk to mull it over. Yukari, Yamagishi, I feel the same way you do. Of course. Uh, you did say we should try to go about our lives for now. You hear that, Junpei? <laughs> Let's get to it. If we're talking my life, studying's <laughs> the last thing I'd be doing. Mitsuru Senpai, could you help me with this? Oh, I love you, Kari's smile. She's so cute. <laughs> of course. What question did you need help with? Oh, we studied together as we always do. I feel I was able to focus better than usual. My heart. I love them so much. <sighs> How long have we been studying? Time really flies when we're all in it together. I agree. Thank you for going along with my suggestion, everyone. Time well spent. You think so? <laughs> I hope everyone else feels the same way. I think they By do. the way, I hope you haven't forgotten about taking Koromaru for a walk. Uh, of course not. Can we? Come on, everyone, let's go. Can we see them all go walk together, please? That'll be it for studying, then. Everyone, make sure to give it your all on the exams. No! No, I wanted to go see them walk together. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally okay. Uh, second semester final exams begin today and will last for six days. My gosh. That was so beautiful, though. Like... The way that... They just, like, they want to keep spending time with each other. And not take their time for granted. Take their life for granted. They want to hang out with each other before... For death. <laughs> or, I don't know, the end. <laughs> they don't want to run. All right, it's exam time. Which of the following originated in India? The number zero. I like the Scooby music. Yeah, surely there has to be fan art. I feel like there has to be. Um, the sticks in P3 feel so real because of scenes of, like this of them trying to study like normal. Yeah, while pushing down their dread, yes. You know the song, Burn Your Dread? Is that what it's titled? Burn Your Dread or Burn My Dread? It's so real. I think I got that wrong, um, originally as well. <laughs> Burn your dread, that's what it's called. Okay. Nice. one? No, actually, I think it was this. Murasaki no Ue? Yes! 
Let's go. Hi, Trev. Oh, wait, it's actually burn my dread. Burn my dread, okay. Ruzi, that's so real. Watching for your in Persona 3, find myself feeling inspired, wanting to make better use of your time. Completely understandable. I was actually thinking about that. I think this morning. Like, damn, Freerun? I feel like Freerun's main message is like making sure you make human connections with each other. Um. Tell your loved ones you love them. I don't know. I feel like Persona 3 also has the same themes. Which of the following words is not in the correct plural form? Mice, cacti, moose, geeses. <laughs> geeses. Love you for your reactions, thank you! It's it's such an emotional show, honestly. Let's go, Makoto. Nice job. A scissors! <laughs> Junpei! Oh no! Oh no, we get to cry more with Junpei today, perhaps. Yay! Let's see what everyone's saying. What the fuck? Did y'all did y'all just hear his last see his last sentence? My god, that was intense! Okay! Alright, we're definitely gonna hang out with Junpei. Okay, hi Junpei. Yo. Sup Makoto. Hey, you have some time now? I'll treat you to some takoyaki. Of course. Shrine. I'll grab us some takoyaki. Want me to wait for you? Aww, you gonna miss me? Yes. It's fine. Just go on ahead. I'll be there in a sec. Got some uh, takoyaki. And this one's for you. Mm. Um. Wait, Trevor, you talking about the scissors thing? A scissors is real, yes. Brought up to your hairdresser. She said she says it too, it's the Wisconsin thing. I also read that it um there's like a, an article about it. I think UW Milwaukee made or something like that. Very interesting. Wisconsin's not a real state. You might be right about that. Alright, Junbei, why are we at the shrine? In on Stripey's bench? On my and Stripey's bench? Thanks. Sure thing. Be sure to thank me for every single bite. You're so nice, Just messing Junpei. around. To be honest, this is kind of an apology for the other day. Mm. You know, back when I blew up at you. One pack of takoyaki ain't gonna make up, but it's better than nothing. He's right? trying. <laughs> this is so mean. <laughs> I already forgave you! <laughs> Thanks. And still, I felt like words weren't enough for an apology. I took my anger out on you. And you totally didn't deserve that. It's because I really wanted mm. to take out my anger on someone else. Remember when I mentioned I was visiting someone at the hospital? And how I pissed her off, but... I didn't know what I did wrong. I, uh, think I get it now. A while back, I was asked what I'd be doing with my life in two years. By Chidori. 
and being the insensitive dumbass I am, I said something like, eats me for a long time. I didn't even understand how it must have felt for her to ask me that. So it's no wonder she got upset. She was facing something really scary. Oh, June Acting like it was no big deal. The other day, and everyone was all calm and chatting about what Ryoji said. It put everything into perspective. When it finally hit me, I lost my shit and snapped at you. I'm really sorry about that, man. Junpei, I'm hugging you. Hey, come on, eat up. <laughs> Don't want cold takoyaki, do you? <laughs> Ooh, that was tasty. And it's not too bad for What a sweetie pie. Hey, by the way, have you decided what you're going to do on the 31st yet? I'm still thinking about it. I mean, I think I know, but I'm, I'm just going to say we're still thinking about it. I hear you. That's a hell of a decision to make. Look, man. Me and the others might tell you all kinds of stuff, but whatever we say, go with your own gut. You've dealt with enough as it is, you know? Junpei. I've always been jealous of you. You're a special dude, and everyone's always counting on you. But at the same time, I knew you were the one making all the tough calls. You're always looking out for everyone around you. Even people like me. Sure, I was jealous, but watching you? I knew I could never be you. So, I figured maybe it's time you chose what you wanted to do for a change. Mm. Besides, forgetting everything doesn't exactly sound so bad. <laughs> Does it? No, we can't. We can't. We can't forget everything, Junpei. Okay. Do you really think that? You know, what about Shidori? Uh, I mean, I obviously wouldn't like that. It suck to forget everything. But that's just how I feel. You should follow your feelings. <laughs> Whatever you choose, I won't let anyone tell you otherwise. <sighs> this is so nice. All right, that's enough serious stuff. Chats like this make my throat all dry. <laughs> or maybe it's just a takoyaki. Maybe it's because we're about to cry, Junpei. <laughs> Let's grab a drink somewhere and head oh back. Oh my god. Is that okay with you, Mr. Leader? I love crying every single Persona stream. Junpei and I chatted all the way home. Oh, our courage improved. I love that. Again, it's like... I love how they're telling Makoto that he needs to be his own person. He needs to make the decision and... Like, their opinions... Like, they can listen- he can listen to their opinions, but he needs to do what he thinks is right. For himself. Junpei Makoto arc fucks up so bad. No, it literally boots me too. <laughs> like... God, June pay from the beginning. His whole arc of like him feeling jealousy of uh, of Makoto, and then his like apologies, and it, it just feels so real. It feels so real. God, man, such a great character of an architect that doesn't get a ton of love in mm, this game series. Made Junpei so much better in this game. No, seriously, I love Junpei. Such a good character arc. Brokeback Tartarus! <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Tanakers. Right. Welcome back. After I finished my exams, I walked around town for a little while. The lost are everywhere now. Running into them is no longer just an occasional incident. Perhaps it has to do with the fall. Probably does. I haven't thought about it as much lately, but we're the only ones who can save the world. It's all up to us. 
That's a lot. That's a lot on our shoulders. Aki! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the exams are finally over, but I don't feel relieved at all. I'm just even more tired. This is the same way I felt after the last midterms. We thought it was going to be the last battle, but it wasn't. <sighs> The more I think about it, the more miserable I feel. Um... Good to see you! How are you, baby girl Kun? Did you think? Do you... How do you think you did on the exam? Aced it. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I think I did pretty well, too. But I skipped some questions I didn't know the answers to. I'll have to review them later. Hmm. Children from all over the world will receive presents from a jolly old man in a red suit. But one day, they will realize that the jolly old man doesn't really exist, and they will be sad. But that sadness will eventually lead to their maturity, and then they will leave their childish toys behind. Christmas. What an interesting holiday. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay Mitsuru. I was so interesting. Do you think Ken still believes in Santa Claus? Oh! Oh, baby girl son. How did you do on your finals? Good. <gasps> wow, impressive. I can't believe you're scoring top marks despite everything going on. That's our leader for you. <laughs> Hi, Junpei. <laughs> Dude, I think I bombed the exams. But how can I even concentrate when I know the world is gonna end? So real. Okay, we're definitely hanging out with Aki. Oops. Yeah, Ken, like, Santa isn't real? <laughs> Probably 8 year olds who got this game from Santa in 2009 and spoiled Santa from them. Or for them. I sure hope 8 year olds are, aren't playing this game. Aki! Hi! Want to get moving and warm up a little? Sure. Yes. I know this wasn't your idea, but I'm not planning on letting you cut corners. First on the list is jogging to Naginaki Shrine. Let's go. Makoto is tired. You were actually able to keep up with me on my training regimen. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh. So, what do you think? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, of what? Your punches? Well, the reason I asked you to join me today is... We finally found you, Akihiko Sonata. Go away. These guys are so annoying. We've had a good run up until now. Today's where it ends. Brother. Don't feel bad about screaming if you gotta. No one's coming to save you, though. Okay, Lackey. These guys just don't know when to quit. There's no getting away this time. Not for you, and not for your chicken shit buddy, either. <laughs> not that it'd matter, anyway. You guys live at the dorm nearby, don't you? Yeah, we saw some girls there. The kid, too. I sure hope they're keeping safe. <laughs> Leave... Shut up. Leave them alone. You're scum of the earth. Stay back. He said, stay back, baby girl. I'll create an opening so you can escape. No, I'm staying here with you. If you're going after my friends, then I'll be your first obstacle. <laughs> Come on. Make your move. Don't you know what'll happen if a trained guy like you hits an amateur? The boxing team will be suspended, and you'll be expelled. Or worse, you'll go to prison, and your life will be over. Is that what you want? Huh? That is true. I can never do something like that to my supervisor, or my boxing teammates. <laughs> but even if that's how I feel... <laughs> I can't back down now. Okay. I'll carry that responsibility and pay for it the rest of my life if I have to. He would do anything to protect his friends. I will protect what's important to me. That's why I have these fists. Ah, 
Now what the hell are you going on about? Oh. Let's go. It it's legitimate self-defense. <laughs> Let's get him. <laughs> All right, Ben. I'll trust my back to you. Just try not to hurt him. I'm sure you can handle that. Cocky little bastards! Looks like that does it. Oh my god. That was god. quite the challenge considering their numbers. I didn't think that was actually going to happen. <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> Don't ever show your face around here again. Damn. If I ever hear you're threatening my friends, you know what'll happen next. Aki's going to kill him. Got it. Come on, it's getting cold. <laughs> Plus, someone might have called the police. Let's go to my room for now. <laughs> to your room? Oh! <laughs> well, I'd like to put out some tea, but I have to take these <laughs> this out first. This is so cute. Stylish. They're more than just fashionable. These hand wraps protect my hands and wrists. Not only do these protect me, but they can affect the power of my punches depending on how I wrap them. Whether my fists deal damage or not depends on these. I guess they're like my partners in the ring. Wow. Anyways, make yourself comfortable. This is so, so cute. The reason I asked you to join me today. It's because I wanted you to know what I've been working on. I spent a lot of time training and gaining more experience. And I thought I'd finally reached a point where I could feel confident in my abilities. But after hearing what the appraiser said, I felt afraid. I felt anger too. Knowing that all the training I'd put myself through was meaningless. It's not, it's not meaningless though. I told myself I'd face things head on. But I'm still as weak as I was before. Tell me, do you think I'm strong enough now? Girl, I don't know. I think you're plenty strong, Akihiko. Like, God, you're so strong. You're so caring. Can you give a panel to see something extra than the scene? Sure. Yes, Liz. Liz only, please, though. Otherwise, I'm scared the chat's gonna, like, be filled with messages. Um, Toji Rama, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Zeus, welcome in. Thanks for grabbing your seat. The option shows up, choose. Let me see it. Okay. Do you think I'm strong enough now? Oh god, I don't know what to say to him. I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna say definitely. <laughs> I'd like to think so. But I did lose my way. Everyone loses confidence in themselves from time to time. And that's when their weakness rears its ugly head. Being on the verge of grasping something, but grappling with the fear and frustration of losing everything again. Mm. It's so hard to overcome. And it's a feeling I understand all too well. Okay. I know we've pushed this crucial decision on you. And I can only imagine how hard that must be. But, try not to blame Junpei and the others. I know. I know. We already had a talk. <laughs> you really are strong, you know that? Anyway, as someone who was there too, I just wanted you to know. No matter what you decide, I'm still gonna do what I have to do. I've faced off against countless opponents to get where I am now. If I said all my training was meaningless, exactly, and that would be spitting on all of their efforts too. Exactly. And that would be absolutely unacceptable. Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent like that. Not only did I ask you to join me today, but you got dragged into my fight too. <laughs> I've got to at least pay you back for that. Where are you going? 
I'm pretty sure my special protein blend is around here somewhere. <laughs> I didn't see a familiar handmade craft on the desk. Oh, is this the metal? It's that cardboard gold metal that's not a sister made. Cute. Oh, that. I was thinking of sending that back to my parents when I write them a New Year's card. We don't know how the future is going to turn out. It's better if it doesn't stay with me. Aki. This belongs to you. <laughs> Wait. You're one unusual guy. <laughs> I was thinking this during the fight earlier, but for some reason, I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Together, we can overcome anything. For a long time, all I cared about was having the power to protect others. And I thought being hard on myself and competing with others was the only way I was going to do that. Although, it is true that I've gotten more capable through my reckless approach. But now, there are others who fight alongside me. So I have people who I want to protect. But at the same time, I want them to be there fighting with me. In the oh end, God. it's because Yay. I have all of you that I feel like I can become even stronger. I still don't know if I'm strong or kind enough to deserve this medal. Aki, I'm gonna shake you by your shoulders. You are. You are. You deserve it. But this is my starting point. And it's something that I should keep with me. Yes. You've taught me another valuable lesson today. <laughs> now, where to put this? Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, sure. That's so cute. I did it, Miki. <laughs> you deserve it. It's a huge honor. <laughs> I'll fight to protect it like a champ, guarding his title. <laughs> I may not be very good at motivating people with words, or but you can oh, trust shit, I got him off. I didn't mean to do that. Fight. Even if I'm battered and on the ground. I'll get back up every time. I'll never give up. That's my duty to all of you. So you can count on me. I swear I will protect you. That being said, there's still so much I owe you for. I'll be doing what I can to pay back that debt. I haven't really thanked you for all your help until now either. Lucky. Ah, oh, right. I was going to at least thank you for what you did today. Hmm. Damn. Looks like I'm out of protein powder. You're gonna give me protein powder? What else do I have? <laughs> ah, here. You can have these dumbbells. <laughs> Thank you for the dumbbells, Aki. Just a minute. I'll get them ready for you. <laughs> oh. You could change the weight on these ones to match whatever your muscle strength is. He's so excited. <laughs> In your case, I'd start with eight kilos. No, actually, I think you can handle 10. You could also use a machine, but you got to do some resistance training with free weights, too. <laughs> I feel inspired by his enthusiasm. Oh, we get SP for that. Oh, my God, this game is going to kill me. That was so sweet of a to do that. Yes. Who is it? What's what's going on this time? What's happening? I'm I can't deal with this, you guys. There's way too much happening. Um it's Oh my god, it's the girlfriend. Huh? Oh, come in. You don't stop by very often, Senpai. Is something wrong? No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? 
Aw, are you feeling lonely? <laughs> hey, are you teasing me? <laughs> nah, it's never. <laughs> sure. Stop, they're so cute. I wonder what this Nyx is like. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. Yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? If we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me. And I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated. Though I kind of wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable, too. That's true. And he's an exceptional Persona user, even if death was empowering him from within. He's an interesting guy, huh? We love Makoto! We love Makoto so much! She certainly is. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. I'm gonna barf. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. Uh, I'm gonna barf. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. <laughs> okay. girlfriend. The girlfriends, they love each other. They're so cute. Oh my god. Together. <laughs> Uh, yes, I love Barf Sona 3. <laughs> Barf Sona 3 is my favorite game ever. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, 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 Zay, aka Boy Kisser. <laughs> so I can't do this, you guys. Hi. It's a Hi, Tanakers. Lord. <laughs> Me blocking you can meet Stu by romancing you, Kari. <laughs> if I play through. <laughs> Trev, you accidentally romance Mitsuru. Oh no. <laughs> uh. God, that's expensive. You're lucky I'm getting rich, Tanaka. Thanks. But I say it's just a stream to cry. No, literally, like December has been hit after hit. Guys, honestly, from like middle of September to now, it's it feels like it's just been like a cry fest. To be quite honest, look at my best friends. They're my best friends. I love you guys so much. Hey there. I wonder what Ryoji's doing right now. Maybe he's cursing fate. Why does he even care about life on Earth? I don't really want to think about it. No matter what we do, we can't stop it from happening. It's just not fair. I wish I could just forget about it too. But the promised day will eventually come. There's no escaping it. By the way, those stray dumbasses haven't made a move yet, huh? They better hurry up and show their faces. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm gonna crush them either way. I'm with you there. Not gonna let them get away after what they did to Shinji and Chidori. Koro agrees. Looks like Koromaru's on board too, aren't you, bud? Hey, Koro. Cute. Oh. I 
love them. I know, where's Igus? Where's Igus? By the way, oh, it's almost Christmas. Baby girl Coon, what do you think the real meaning of Christmas is? <laughs> Consumerism. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Peace on Why, earth. Certainly. I have a similar mindset, actually. I believe that the Christmas spirit should put a smile on everyone's face. So let's be happy too. We'll try. By the way, it's almost Christmas, isn't it? It's like I was sleepwalking. There's so much going on. I almost forgot all about Christmas. There's a lot going on. There's five days. Five days till Christmas. Some days remind you of Akinari no Me Too about it. I guess. Where are you? Where's Yukari and Mitsuru? Where are they? Hmm? Did they go out somewhere together? Perhaps? Maybe we'll check the shrine. I guess is in the wall. <laughs> They're feeding I guess oil. Thank you so much, Liz. cafe even here. I wish I could... wish I could... go in there. Weird flyers? Flyers? Interesting. Okay, well, guys, I think I'm gonna stop for today. This has been a lot, and I don't know if I can take any more of it. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna find someone to raid, but thank you all for being here. Thank you for crying with me. This game, y'all. Um, I'm gonna be live again tomorrow, actually, so tomorrow maybe we'll make it to Christmas. I feel like we need to go to Tartarus as well, because we still haven't been there, and there's, what, like, 11 days? Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Big shout out to my mods today. I appreciate you. Stream heavy crying and barfing, as they say. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all for being here. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for the follows today. Thank you for the subs, for the resubs, for the bits. I appreciate you all so, so much. Um, let me see if we can go raid. Kieran is playing Persona 4 Golden. I think this is his first time playing, um, but he's on day two, y'all. So right at the beginning of Persona 4, let's go say hey, drop a little raid message, love the Ryoji commands. All right, um, stand raid. There we go. You can copy the message, paste in the Kieran's chat with me over there. Please go send him all the love. I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, let me make sure I copy this and then I will say bye to all of you. God, there's so much that happened today. Okay. Zentacle, thank you for the mod love. Spidey, Magic, thank you for the mod love. I appreciate it. Angie, thanks for being here. Nady Matey, Doug, Commonly, uh, Nishko, Trev, Leech, um, Liz, Manda, Yuka, Nehru, Magic, Emlyn, but like Wash, Jimmy, uh, Noct, thank ya, So Young, Toro, Abaddon, Giselle, Chelsea, Holly, Spidey, Torkip, QB, Kimchi, uh, Takaru, thank you, Dana, thank you, um, 
Turn Tech, thank you. Urzu, waste my potential. Boots, Yuhai, Iluna. Anyone who's lurking, thank you so much. Go send your love over to Kieran, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. And I'm guessing we're gonna cry more tomorrow, so I can't wait for that. <laughs> okay, bye everyone.